Welcome to a first ever in Good Good history. This is round one of the Good Good Championship presented by Golf Galaxy. A championship that started with 63 men has whittled its way down to 12 remaining golfers. The only thing that stands between one of these competitors and 50 thousand dollars is two rounds of golf 36 holes it's a beautiful day we are super excited to share it with y'all let's get right into it Lane, going to great nice uh, putt, George. George. oh yeah Jesus, wow it is a shootout here in Scottsdale Arizona at the good good championship The nice thing is that all 12 spots are paid, so you really can't lose at this point. So it's kind of a free roll to kind of go out there and not be reckless, but be aggressive. And then the other thing you got to realize is all 12 of us just shot 67 or better. So probably that, I mean, at last six, seven, six, seven, it's 10 under. So it's going to take probably 15, 16 to win, most likely, if not more. If I can get 16 or 17 looks at birdie, um, eventually the hole's going to get in the way of a couple of them. We should be in pretty good shape. This golf course, it's pretty much right in front of you. So, um, just one shot at a time and go as low as possible. You made the top 12, you might as well let it rip and be aggressive. I mean, the course is pretty gettable, so go out and try to make some birds. Honestly, I see today and tomorrow as qualifying rounds because it's only a two-day tournament. I think you gotta put up a pretty low number to, to go win it, and obviously that's the plan. You know, the, the famous saying is you can't win it the first day, but you can lose it, you know? Yep. So it's just, you want to put yourself in a good position to play well tomorrow. A lot of it would just be who makes most putts. Yeah, just try and do your best to take it one hole at a time. I'm just going to go out and try and just position myself best I can to, to have a birdie putt on every hole. It's kind of the goal. Try to keep it low stress early on, build, build momentum into the tournament. If you can hit a good off the tee, you can kind of give yourself some chances. So we'll just kind of see how the how the day progresses, I guess, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can kind of get after some opportunities out there. I think two good rounds, like 14 or better, probably gets it done, if I had to guess. So yeah, just gotta keep doing what I'm doing. How y'all doing? Matt and I are gonna be here with group one. We are with Cameron Sisk, George Markham, Josh Shadino, and Sam Murphy. An absolutely star-studded group we got. Yeah, we really do. We really, really do. I'm excited. Uh, beautiful par four we're starting with. Trees down the fairway. Pretty scorable hole though. Let's see how they start off. Very, very true. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the finals for the first ever Good Good Championship here at Weston Kierling Golf Club, presented by Golf Galaxy in our first group of the day. Leading us off, please welcome George Markham. I believe George is a sole lefty in the field. He is the only, the only lefty, lefty we had. in the field. We had a couple lefties in the field. George is able to make it through. I was talking to him earlier about that Burrito Express sponsorship. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Great ball. Oh, great ball there. Perfect drive off the first. What a start. Wow. Man, he hammered that thing. Up. Wow. Please welcome Cameron Sitt. This is so much fun to watch. So, right. so much fun to watch. Cameron Sisk, well, George and Cameron Sisk were the two that got through the playoff. Yeah. Great yeah, ball great there. Ball there. Oh, Perfect shot. Perfect. Wow. Two beauties. Two beauties off the first. And next up we have Josh Sedino. <laughs> Thanks for nothing last man. These guys are so good, dude. They're phenomenal. That is perfect yep. over there. Perfect. Ball. Three great drives to start us off. The fourth member of this group is Sam Murphy. Yeah. Go, Sam. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus. Wow. Well, well, Sam, holy he really goes at it. <laughs> he really goes at it. I don't think you could have placed four better drives no. from group one. You could not. These boys are going low today. Let's We're going to get out there. We're going to be with y'all all day. Group two coming up next. Come on. You guys want to say hi to the GoPro? Thank God this tee shot's not very hard. Oh my gosh. 17 cameras, 28 people. You have one goal there, it's way more. I feel like in situations like that, when you're jacked up and you're nervous, you have to. Yeah. Well, it's, and it, I feel like it calms me down. Like, knowing that you put 
part of your swing, the straighter it's going to get. These are ours. Right on it. Sit a little bit. Sit a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Oh. Wow. Off already on the first? <gasps> Yo, <laughs> off relax. Shot Dude, I thought he made it. It just slipped out. Wow. These boys came to play. Up next, we have George Marco. Beautiful drive. Josh and Sam just hammered those golf balls though, bro. Cameron Dude, Sis coming out just gates fire. Another really good looking shot. It's gotta get Yo. back there. Just stayed on the other side of that ridge. Can I have a good look at birdie though? All right, two birdie looks already. Mm -hmm. it's the, when these guys find that fairway inside 150 yards, it, it, they gotta be taking dead aim. They're mm -hmm. looking at anything inside 10 feet all day. Sam Murphy's stepping up here now. He's gotta have, go, get back there, get back there. Get back there, get back there. Great shot. Best shot, Sam. Sam. Beautiful shot there by Sam. Sets himself up for a great birdie look. Dude, three pretty good birdie looks off the first, man. Dude. And now we got Josh up here. Something. That's it, that's it. No, 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 no. That's the tough part about being on that right side of the field. He must have had a bad, he must have had a kind of a downhill, downhill lie. lie. And when you're straight on from this point, you're hitting back up the slope. From there, you're kind of hitting on a side slope. That ball just skipped. That's gonna be a tough grind to make a par from there. But there's a reason these guys are in the top 12. That's right. They can make par from anywhere. When are this thing rolling? Hmm? It's not rolling, is it? No idea. All right, everybody, what's going on? Sorry to pull you away from round one of the championship. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that beautiful video. We are doing the exact same promotion, another 330 flags. We are all sitting down here, we are signing. With your purchase of $125 or more, you will get a free signed flag from all of us and it's gonna start just like this. Bubby, he's gonna run it around and it's gonna get around every single person we're gonna sign it. These are the exact replica flags that we used in the Good Good Championship. Um, and I'm just really, really excited about this. Hopefully you guys are too. And again, the first flag that we signed could be in any random 330 flag purchases on day one, two, or three. So also stay tuned for that. Good job, Sharp. I'm excited to see who gets number one. Same. It's going to be... Can, can you, good. yeah, send a picture or send it to our DM so we can see who got number one because that's actually sick. Yeah. This is our second group of the day and leading us off will be Josh Anderson. Woo. Good start. Peaked right, 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 right on the left side of the fairway. Next up, it's good start. Uh, Sean good start. Walsh. <laughs> All right, we got Dallas. scene up here. Whole scene. That's Steve Carlson. Mm. Nice. Very nice. Just don't oh, get behind that cool. tree. And next up, we have Trevor. Oh, oh. I, I have a little tree trouble in the middle of the fairway. That's where I was in the qualifying round. It's that's fine. Good. Just left rough. Right. Maybe Matt have gotten back in the fairway. Group. Please welcome David Kim. Should be fine there, yeah. It's good to challenge that left side. Gives you a better angle into this flag. All right, Luis. Let's get this thing started. Mine kick right? I couldn't tell. Yeah, kick right. Shot. It's a little nerving, but keep it in play. It's always a good sign. Well, the very worst, I played in front of one camera in my life. I had to take a picture. So my wife believes me. Josh actually was able to stay out of the bunker, and honestly, I, I don't know if that's actually better because I'm not quite sure if he's going to be able to spin that. Great shot, Josh. Great shot, Josh. Didn't 
take any time. He knew exactly where he wanted to put that thing, and they hit it. That's the difference. That's a crazy thing. They day. waste no time. As long as they don't miss the green in a terrible spot, all of them are very confident they can make par. Mm-hmm. They, it's very rare you'll see two these guys string together two bad shots. Because mm-hmm. for them to make bogey, it has to take two bad shots. One yes. bad shot, they'll always make a par. Far. But the greens, the greens are not the easiest out here. There's a lot of undulations and slight breaks you just can't see. Oh, he played it. Did he play it high enough? Did he play it high enough? Uh, That's a great putt, though. Just plays that left hand. Great part for him. Say it there. Especially now it's only a 36 hole event. Being right down the middle of the fairway on hole one, but 35 holes left. He's still got a lot of, a lot of, lot of room to make up some room. A lot of room. Yeah. But it's crazy to think about every putt. I like think about it. It's like this could be worth 50 grand. Yeah. This putt could be the 50 thousand dollar putt. It's it off the first. Like mm-hmm. Cameron making this birdie could let him win the tournament by one stroke. He really good. That's what's insane. Good birdie uh, there. Good birdie. Got a bogey, birdie, and two pars. Yeah, perfect. Cameron literally played that whole perfection. He did. Middle of the fairway, almost make it, make a four-footer for birdie. See what the group behind us does. We're gonna carry on the whole two. All right, we've made it to the fairway. Two in the left rough and uh, to a center, center of the fairway. So, see what they can do. Hopefully we can put it close. Hendricks Middle Green. Good shot, right. I like that. Good safe play. Ben's back left, back left today, so it'd be easy to miss it left and give yourself tough up and down. Good smart shot there. He tugged it left. Yeah. That is going to be a very difficult up and down. Short sided below the green. Doable, but it'll be tough. Sean looks good. A little right of it. Pin Heisman, about 25, 20 feet to the right of the hole. Let's get shot. Trevor is going a little left of the green. All right, stayed up there. It's on the fringe. We got three good looks at birdie in this group for this first hole. More caffeine for the kid. You kept it up. <laughs> More caffeine for the kid. Thanks, dude. Yeah, man. No judgment. <laughs> judgment free zone. Here. Heart gonna jump out the friggin' chest. I'm not the one playing. I don't need to. You're still nervous. Of course I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous for you. <laughs> All right, we got, like you said, three good looks at it. One just on the left, got a little chip. <clears throat> Should be good. See how they do. This first hole is a little challenging if you go straight up the middle because of those trees. Yeah, there's one tree that, that one right back there, Luis. Yeah. Even in the qualifying round, I hit a perfect drive, I thought. And I hit a little, hit a little low stinger under it, running up the green. So, you need a really good drive on this hole and not be in a good spot. There's an official up there about 100 yards back. I think it's just a bad luck. He was trying to see if it was embedded because it's a bad lie. Mm -hmm. It wasn't embedded, so it's a bad lie. And he was just trying to chop down at it, chop down at it, run it up. Looks like he got caught by the grain a little bit. The the thing about this rough is it's not very long, but it's grabby. And I was just scrambling. I I thought he had a perfect drive and I had to scramble the rest of the hole. Yeah. I so I in the practice round hit it pretty much exactly where you were. So I kind of flared one just by reflex, hit it way right. Ended up having a really good angle over the green and left myself a 10-footer. 
So I say pretty solid start, but these guys are playing a lot smarter. They're playing away from this hole. If you aim at this flag and miss, you're gonna You just gotta keep your keep the hole under control. Just like these control bars. Dude, these things are actually What a frying. segue. Uh -huh. That was actually sick. That, Thank you, sir. Yeah. For the first time. Yeah, th these are actually sick. I've been eating them all morning. I'd like to see a birdie drop out of this group. You know, of, of all the holes, there's a lot of birdies yeah, in this golf course. Right. I don't feel like this hole is a birdie hole. Appreciate it. Great putt. Good speed. Looks like the mirror's right in the middle. That was perfect speed. That was a perfect putt. Sean Walsh, he can putt. Yeah. He can putt. That's a birdie right there, boys. Wow. Dude, a good yes. par save. Holy making crap. That. Now, we talked about how making a 20 footer there for Sean is big for momentum. That might be even bigger for momentum. That kind even of par save that will settle the nerves. Was that Trevor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was poor. That was beautiful. Uh, it just short. Looks like it was a little bit out to the left. I assume that would be the high side of the hole. Yeah. Short and high side. If you're gonna miss, you want to miss there. Yeah. All right, we got one birdie, three pars, first round, our first group. That was a great par save by Trevor. It's huge, making a 15 footer par on the first hole. Great putt by Sean. Good start. Let's move on. All right, gentlemen, welcome. We have Val here, fresh out of the emergency room. Yeah. Oh, God. And uh, he's going to help us today with the, uh, with the with the starting group. Gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Good Good Championship Finals here at the Kierlin uh, Weston uh, Golf Club, presented by Golf Galaxy. Now on the first tee, leading us off, we have Mark Baldwin. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Mark. <laughs> Second up, please welcome Linus Lilidal. Linus, he's a uh, he's a golfer from Sweden. He's been playing PGA Tour Latin America the last two years. Played solid in, in the two Argentina or there's three events in Argentina, but he won the Argentina Swing, which is a good little bonus for him. I think he started off the Latin America season second place, second place. So he's also playing pretty good right now. Next up, please welcome Blaine Hale. All right, we got Blaine right here. He was uh, part of the national champions in uh, 2017 at OU. I had him at OU for one year. Missed out on the ring, but he's a he's a solid player. He's been playing mini tour stuff right now. Still waiting for his big break. He's got a, he's got a win on the Adams Tour event uh, about the same time as right now last year. All right, and the final contestant, please welcome Hunter Reed. And we're off. Kind of weird someone will be hearing my inner thoughts on the golf course today. Yes, that is the norm. No, I, uh, I had, I've had status since 2018 on KFT, but I lost it all last year, so okay. I've just been a dad this year. How's that been? Awesome. I yeah. love it. It's the best thing. It's better than hitting a nice tee shot right behind a tree. <laughs> Dude, someone needs to take this down. Brutal. Okay. A little bit left here. Oh, stay. stay. Sit. Sit. I think this is nice. This is really good. Yeah, good shot. Like the pass, but he's got a solid look for birdie there. Ten footer. Mm. Yeah, not bad. A little down the hill here. I don't think I've ever seen this many golf carts on a golf course before. Carts going off everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm thinking 21 carts. Sit, 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 sit. It's not awful from there. That's just a really bad break, honestly. 
you still probably chip it, or, uh, putting from there. It's just on the fringe, but yeah, directly behind the tree. That's just that's tough luck right there. Pretty solid. Good. Spin. All right. All right, just hit a little bit long. Still got to look for birdie though. About 10 feet here for them. Leader is currently uh, Sean Walsh. One under. One under through one. All right, we got Hunter going first here. Bit of a longer putt, looks like 40-ish feet. It's a bit of a mound on his left side, so it looks like it's almost, it might be a double breaker, but I'm not sure. I know it's breaking right to start. It's a speed putt though. He's just trying to get the general line right and get the speed. Two putt and get out of here. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh. Pretty solid. Pretty Great solid. Putt. What a putt. Well done on the speed. That's a good little tap in for par. All good. You got to see all those courses. Uh, except for the first five holes. I don't know the first five holes. Like. Would you say pretty much all the courses like attackable? Fairly. The par threes have a little bit of teeth to them, but the par fives are so like. I mean, you have pretty short clubs. You don't have a three wood in. Like you have like long irons in. So it's, right. it's almost just like a long, longer par four really. Yeah. So you got to take advantage of the par fives out here. Mm. Oh my gosh. He's done. Wow. Oh, wow. What an effort. That was a good, good roll. Prize. Man, that looked like it was going in from here. I gotta remember these scores. So Mark is definitely in for four. Yeah. I think Mark and Hunter in four, basically. All right, Linus, he's he's playing from the green. Similar line to what Mark's was. I was actually wrong. It actually breaks a little left to right, but definitely slightly quick. He's got a good read off of Mark's, though, so let's see what he does. Yeah, it really doesn't get there. there. Oh Dang. Gosh. Sorry. Is that Lena? That's Linus. Yep. Linus par for Linus. Just a little bit too much respect on that speed, but hey. So is that, you think that's what it's going to come down to, right? This Putts. Putting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Because all these guys can hit it. Yeah, you just, I mean, you got to hit your wedges pretty close. I mean, it's like wedges and putts out here today, I think. I, mean, I feel like hitting fairways is like slightly easy. I agree. Like the, the, the fairways. The holes kind of bowl in a little bit. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you if you miss the bowl, then you're kind of in some trouble in the desert. But um, yeah, we saw we saw 12 tee shots on hole one, and pretty much no one missed the fairway. Yeah. Oh, mm. oh my goodness. Both Blaine and Mark just burned the edges. It looked like it was good from here. Taps in for his par, it's not bad. Hey, Mark had one of the most brutal lip outs I've seen in a while. Dude, I love Mark swing. Yeah. I never seen him solid. swing, but yeah. like he's had a good solid the extension there. Yeah, he does, yeah. Mark's a good player. He's been doing it for a while. Really? Yeah, he Has he played on corn fairy? Played on corn fairy, played in Pichet for China. He's been all over the place. He's definitely a, a, a true journeyman golfer. Good guy as well. It's very easy to root for him. Yeah. He seems like a really good dude. He is, yeah. Everyone's in for bar. I mean, Mark's making this, so. Yeah, yeah. At least final group, even bar through one. Yeah, let's. I want to take a look at the leaderboard before you go to the next. We got two guys, so Cameron through one is one under. Um, Sean Walsh is one under. And then everyone else even, but but George uh, Markham is one over. So it's it's gonna be a tight race. I'm really I'm really interested to see how things finish up today. I would assume what's your guess? Like what do you think's leading at? Eight? Nine? Leading? Oh that's tough, because there can be a low round out here. I could see a seven. Just a matter of like if the putts drop or or not, but let's see what happens. It kind of feels like a giant playoff. Yeah. 12 carts following us. Five cameras, 12 carts.
All right, y'all, coming up to hole two here. We have a 418 yard par four. Very gettable, very scorable. A lot of guys will probably have between a 70 to 100 yard shot left in. Wouldn't be surprised if we see some approach shots come close here. I'm interested to see where that pin position is. Up the left side, everything kind of funnels back towards the fairway here on this hole. Especially with that pin beat on the right side, I think you'll have a good look in. Good ball there up the right side. Be interesting to see what he does though with that pin position. Shot, Sammy. Another really good ball up the right side. He just goes at it. It's a fun swing to watch. George going with a three wood there, going up the left side. I, like I said, I think everything does kind of funnel down there. I'm surprised I didn't see more of the layback play there with that pin being tucked. You play it back some, take more of a full swing, put more spin on it, because I'm going to be interested to see how uh, Sam and Josh play it, being up that right side with that tucked pin. Let's go find out. All right, with my Precision Pro, this beautiful range finder they gave us, we got about 106 from right here. Honestly, a great yardage. The only problem is it's a really, really tough pin from here. Perfection, bro. That's probably a 10, 12 footer, just along the pin. That's unreal. He's firing on all cylinders, bro. He, he came to play. Mm -hmm. Now we got Josh up here. Oh, this looks real good. This looks real good. Let it spin a little spin bit. Spin back. Great shot, it's Josh. Making its way Good back. Shot. Using that ridge just outside of Cam there. Great shot. Now back over to George, also in a very similar spot to Cameron. Let's see if we can try and do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. You can't hit it much better than what Cam did, bro. No, he just played that left side to perfection. Mm -hmm. He's looking at it. Watching it. He's looking at it. Oh, on that left side. Yeah, find the slope, find the slope, find the slope, find the... He literally is maybe a yard from catching that slope and coming all the way back down to the portion of the green the pin's on. He's leaving himself some tough two putts. Yeah. Any of these guys could rattle all five, six birdies in a row. Yeah, I agree. Uh, this course is so scorable, and they all use the same terminology. The course is right in front of you. There's no tricks to it. Everything is there. Someone's going low today. Uh, I 100% agree. If I had to pick now, Cam, Cameron, he's looking pretty good. Cameron's looking really pretty solid. Pretty good. We can't see past the bunker. Hopefully but it's it, spun for him. It, it was low and nippy. It should have stayed on the green. Not a shot I think he's happy with, though. No. But he's putting. He grabbed the putter, so he's definitely putting. Mm -hmm. Putting. Let's go but see some birdies. Guys from there aren't happy with 12 footers. No, they're not. They want five I'm feet in there. static about a 12 footer, though. <laughs> Sometimes you're too close. So we got to have a good wedge game. Sam does. That's a hard wedge shot. 67 yards downwind to a tight flag. It's a tough shot. It's a tough shot. All right, here we go. Hole number two, it is a par four, 418 yards. This hole is a little bit, probably the easiest one that I've seen. It's all about your drive. If you get a good drive up there, you're just gonna have about, you know, roughly 80 to 100 yards in. And pretty easy green to hit a wet shot into, so. You drive in the fairway, you're probably gonna have to get a birdie look. Yeah. Sean is going up first. That's perfect. That looks like a really good ball. It appears that he likes it. Yeah. I'm going to guess he'll have probably 90 yards, 100 yards in, something around that. Another good thing, the final 12, they all get money, so everybody here is going to get a check either well, way. And everybody got their expenses paid for. Yeah. So is that like, Was that in addition to this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy. How is this tournament, like, compared to, like, obviously you guys are professional. How does it compare to... Okay, good ball. There's a few more cameras than most mini tour events I play in. Mm -hmm. The drive went a little left, it looked like. 
nice which, thing about the holes out here is most of the fairways can't end towards the fairway, so the rough is typically going to kick you back unless you miss too big. And yeah. Pretty tough spot. All right, now we got right, Trevor we'll here. Trevor here had a really good par save. We'll see if he's able to ride this momentum now and hit a good tee shot on the second hole. He's watching it. I was going a little left, but I think it's going to be fine. <coughs> I mean, can't tell from here, but I'm going to guess that ball probably kicked down right. Could be wrong. And that is perfect. That is, look at that. All right, we got two drives that are perfect. <coughs> we got two drives that are TBD. A little left. <laughs> I think I left my sunscreen back at the Airbnb. A lot of sadness. To the left there. Yeah, you might have missed it so far left. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be a one. Yeah, you got that open shot. Three guys found the lower portion of the green, which is where the pin is today. George found that top portion on the left side. Yeah, he was close to a beautiful shot. About a yard, two yards, and it works his way down. He's got a 15 foot. But now he's got another one where you're just thinking about speed and not thinking about making it. Mm -hmm. Of course, guy like George, he can just also just drain it. Yeah. Just walk out here with Bernie. <laughs> just get it on the right line. Let it come down that hill. It's got to pick up pace. Got to pick George, up George, pace. George, great putt though. That's a great putt by George. Bro. About three feet more pace. I think would have held its line. It might have caught mm -hmm. that lower end and fell in. Par par start there for Sam. Both of them stress free. It's not a bad way to start. You kind of get in the round. You get your feels. You, you get your bearings about you, and then you start firing. Yeah. And this course is so scorable. You, very very. Like we were talking about in the fairway, you can fire off. Yeah. String Lots of, I mean, in the qualifying round, Sam was able to cash out an eagle from like 20, 15, 20 feet, mm -hmm. and he buried the next par five as well. So I think with his distance, par fives are going to be his bread and butter right there. You know what I'm saying? He has to take advantage of those. Yeah. He's got 20 yards off the tee on everyone. Oh, gosh, great putt by Josh. Okay, it's good par, two pars for both Josh and Sam. That's the thing though, both the guys that were center of the fairway missed 20 plus feet long. Mm -hmm. These greens might be firming up a bit. The sun's already been hitting them because it's a 12.30 start time. Might be pretty firm already. That looks good. Oh my that gosh, he really did it. Good. He did it. Wow. Nice putt, Cameron. Great birdie. My gosh, man. Birdie, birdie start there for Cameron, bro. He's He is filing, firing on all, yeah. all of the cylinders he has right now, mm -hmm. fellas. That was a bounce back after a tee shot, birdie. Yeah. It's gonna be a fun day of golf to watch. Good day of golf, man. George here with about two and a half feet, three feet to clean up for his par. Yeah. These are the ones you gotta make if this sets the tone for the rest of the day, you know. Yep, nice putt, George. Pot. Good par. Good two holes. Great two holes. Almost an exact replica of the first hole. Cameron Sisk with a birdie, Sam and uh, Josh with a par, and George, not a bogey with a par there. Yeah. Boys are starting to get the bearings about him. Flat sticks are just going to start getting hot. These boys are going to go low today. I think they're going to go low. Yeah, it's all about angles. I know your game. All about angles. Why is everyone so long? All right. Couple shots, a couple really good shots. We got two in the left rough and two in the fairway. I feel like this hole is very gettable. Beautifully struck, wow. Little, little deep, it's spinning back to pin high. That's a great shot by, by David. Not at all. 
I think it's gonna be right side of the green. Yeah, I think it's the right edge of the green, probably. Can't really tell from this angle, but it looked like it was pretty good distance to me, just a little bit right. Eight feet short, probably, 10 feet short. Good what, a, look. what a bounce back after that long par. Oh, that's huge. That's why, the, that's why those par putts early on can be very big. saying 20 footer for David Camelot today. He's gonna train it. Good, it's very me. One, one thing you're gonna notice from these guys is when they have putts of this length that they don't go in, they're not typically reaching for the change afterwards. They're just tapping them in, moving on to the next. You see that? Like that's just tap in range and that's gonna happen every time. If the putt doesn't go in, speed's perfect. Josh got a good read off shot on his butt. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes in. It's good pace. Oh, tad firm, but you know, when you're trying to make putts, sometimes you gotta run them by. Yeah, Excellent putt. That was dead that. center. Josh. Those nerves are settled. I'm a pain. Very, very interesting play, <coughs> even the flag in, but teach their own. Some guys like to pin in. During COVID, I personally COVID. don't. But personally, I really liked, uh, I like the hole to be less filled up with stuff. I want it to be, you know, empty. out there on the left side, but I don't know. I hope he gets a good break there. Okay. Linus looks like it's also going a little left, but I think he's got the length to carry all that stuff. I think he's fine. Should bounce right, probably in the fairway. That's my guess. Big Blaine, right down the middle, slightly down the left side, but it should get bounced to the right. All good. Green light special from there. Hunter's ball should also be fine. Just going a little bit right side of the fairway, but looks like there's plenty of room there. Should be all good. How often do you make it back to Sweden? Man, not as often as I need to. Okay. My entire family is still back there, so it, it sucks. It's been about a year since I saw him last. Oh, wow. Fortunately, Mark Baldwin's found his ball. Unfortunately, this is another hole is a greenside bunker that he's in, and it's going the opposite direction. So this his, his shot that he's in this way um, slope down is, is on a down slope. Normally, this bunker is like an upslope straight on straight onto the green, but we're going the opposite way. It's got about 140 yards, slightly into the wind. Pin looks like it's in the front right section. Definitely not a easy shot, just because the downslope bunker part. But anything on the green here is a you great shot. Lie. No, it's not good. No. Do you think he's playing this, expecting to catch a little bit of sand? It's tough because it is a downslope, so maybe a little bit. You think he would take extra club here, but he also has to get him high. I know. I, I kind of don't mind that play. I mean, just take a little extra club and go in the middle of the green. 
Come on. Carry, 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 carry. Oh, that might roll down to the ground. Whoa! That's that rolling hard down. left. That is on the green. <laughs> that legitimately could be like 15 feet. Nice shot. Feet. Good shot. That could be 15 feet. That is, that is a big break for him. Wow. That's a bit left. That's a bit left. Yeah, he's got... That's what it comes down to today is those wedges. Like he's probably got 50 feet there, unfortunately. And then like Blaine and Blaine and Linus here are like way up there. They have flip wedges, maybe 60 yards. Blaine here looks good. Oh, it's a little long. long. Tried to spin back, but it's on the fringe. These greens don't spin, do they? No. Linus hitting his shot, I don't know, it looks like it's definitely short of 100, maybe like 70 or 80 yards. I Green think. light. Oh, this looks that nippy. Looks pretty good. A little nippy chiseler in there. And it does spin. A little bit past the flag, maybe like 8 feet, but it's just definitely a good solid look for bird. That's kind of a harder pin today. The greens, just like, they're like, the first bounce is kind of firm. They're not... I, I don't, no one's really been able to get a bunch of spin and like a bunch of pullback on them, so they're just kind of like the top layer's been kind of kind of one hop and then check, but I haven't been able to get a bunch of spin with any of the wedges this week, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. I'm not a very high spin player anyway, but some other guys haven't been able to do it either, so just something you got to kind of play with with a bunch of wedges this week. It should be swinging a decent amount left to right, I think. Short. That was the right line, just... Looks <laughs> like good speed, go a little stretch. It's not bad. These greens are so not fast, sneaky. Yeah. Alright, Lena's going up next. He uh, obviously got a pretty good solid look off of Blaine's. Let's see, uh, see how he does with that, that added intel. Goodness, you just put that ball behind the hole. That was a great putt, though. It's a good par, but good effort. I thought he made that. What's the strategy here? Are they just trying to go as low as possible, pretty much? Going at everything, or are they? I think they're just playing golf as usual, honestly. I mean, nothing really different. Just trying to hit your wedges close. Obviously, at fairways. Just kind of comes down to if the putts are dropping or not. Wow, what a birdie. Wow. Good putt. That is a huge birdie there. Yeah, solid nice, putt. Good putt. Great, great two putt for him. That's very wish you were playing. I know. I wish I was two, but it's all good. Good birdie there. Yeah, yeah good solid bird. These guys didn't realize that's the best angle. He's <laughs> ducked right man. <laughs> good thing it right. Nice. Right there. Just Blaine cleaned up his par yeah, to a par as well. He's just gonna <laughs> use that members map. <laughs> Alright, sorry for pulling you guys away from the video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Guga Championship presented by Golf Galaxy. We're here at Golf Galaxy right now. Let's go check out what's in store. Alright, thank you Luke. Anyway, again, big shout out to Golf Galaxy for being the title sponsor of the Guga Championship. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Guga Championship. Can't wait to see who wins the big prize money. Go to your local Golf Galaxy and go check out some of that Guga apparel. We have a huge assortment of different Guga apparel polos that are going to be in it. We also have some awesome t-shirts and some hats, and I'm wearing some of that new Summer Drop, which is also gonna be in stores very, very soon. So big shout out to Golf Galaxy, gonna be a lot of fun. Also, big shout out to Callaway Paradigm. Obviously, their new drivers and irons. Really, really fun, Bubby uses them. He's at the track, man. Let's go take a peek and see how far he hits it. In all Golf Galaxies, you can come test out the brand new Callaway Paradigm iron. CJ, actually, the clubs I play. So I'm gonna hit one real quick for y'all and see what it does. I love it, y'all. Absolutely love these clubs. Absolutely love coming and spending some time at Golf Galaxy. Hop on the track, man. Hit some balls. But yeah, we're not going to keep y'all away from the video any longer. Let's get right back to the Good Good Championship.
All right, y'all, with the help of my Precision Pro Range Finder, we have a 174 yard par three. Wind off the left a little bit with some hurt. The boys are probably gonna be playing at about a 180 to 185 shot, I'd assume. Pins in the middle of the green, and we're going right at it. We're gonna see some birdies out here today, that's for sure. Wind's just taking that a little right. Good high. Nice shot. Shot cam. That is one thing we have today that was not there in the qualifier. Some wind? Yeah, a little bit of wind. There's a little wind up there today. This is the first hole where you really kind of felt it. Yeah. Oh, oh he's yeah, flighted he's it in there beautifully. It. Just right of the pin. Oh, a little deep. Just deep. Yeah. I took that one a little lower than the camera and things just cut through the wind a bit more than this. Just got word from Sam's caddy, Johnny. He's stepping up here with an 8-iron. I, I like this club for him. I like it a lot. Same, same, same. You can go and go and pick country whenever you want to. Oh, fighting oh the wind goodness. beautifully. Right at it. Uh, great, great shot. shot. There's Sam. Hi, big country. Hi, big country. Nice shot, big country. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was calling him that all day yesterday when we were playing. The way that ball just started to draw and held up against yeah. the wind. These guys know what they're doing. Yeah. That's yeah. just oh, yeah. I'm literally, like, I'm, I'm trying to play a fade off this one because I can't be doing that draw stuff. <laughs> I'm coming off a bar. We got George up here. Looks like he's probably got about an eight iron as well. Straightforward chip there. Straight, straight forward down there. Good. Okay. Let's get up there, see what the boys do. Let's take a peek. Sometimes there's par threes where you know it's a straightforward par three, but that wind will just make it an uncomfortable shot. And I kind of think that's what we might have seen now, George. Mm -hmm. But again, these guys all said you put them anywhere around the green that's just not completely dead. They're all confident they'll get up and down for par. If I was a betting man, I'd say George's going to put this inside three feet. Yeah. Make the putt for par. That's the thing these guys are so good at doing is like, you hear everyone talk about it. They limit their mistakes. Very, like they, very, they, very limited. Because when we hit a bad shot on a hole like this, we're in the desert, or we're in this desert. Yeah. George is, just barely missed the green. Very straightforward chip. It's just such a cool way to watch these guys play golf compared to how we play golf. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even look like they're, like they're not doing anything no. different. They're just they make it look effortless. It's yeah. smooth. Oh, maybe. Touch up class from George. Huh? Great shot there, George. Just like you said, touch the class. He he hit a, he did not hit the tee shot he wanted. No. And then he steps up to this one. He's like, it's gone. It's out of my mind. Kind of mm -hmm. put this one close, and now he's got a two footer for par. Beautiful That's just how shot. it works. All right, let's see what Josh does here. Mm -hmm. He's got a decent amount of green to work with. About five yards under the green. Should probably end about a yard on. Just let it run. Yeah. I think it's gonna go a little long. If anything, he wants an up up putt. Yeah. See. Great shot there. Great shot there, Josh. You definitely wanted to leave him underneath the hole. That's an uphill putt. That's that's nothing for the young man there. That's what they're also really good at capitalizing on. It's like if they're above the pin, they know it's downhill. They want to leave it underneath the hole. They're gonna leave it on even if it's a six foot putt. They make sure like, they that's that's ninety percent more makeable than a downhill slider from above the hole. Wow. Dude. Great putt there, Cameron. Dude, that's three birdies to start. Look at him, got a smile at the young man. Yeah, look at him, he's like at the bottom side. I don't blame him. Strut your stuff, strut your stuff. All right, y'all, now best tee shot on the group, Sam Murphy. Looks like he's got about an eight, nine footer left. First birdies will be big to get the momentum rolling. Par there for Sam, yeah, especially with his distance, bro. Once we start getting to the par fives, that could be like that catalyst. Mm -hmm. 
He's gonna have. Hold on, he could have like 160 in some par fives. I think he's got 185. Yeah. He'll have nine irons and possibly pitching wedges and par fives out here. Great up and par. down there, George. Great par. Great up and down there. See, I should have placed the bet. I would have made some money. <laughs> should have placed the bet. <laughs> now Josh here with about two feet to clean up for his par. Move on to hole four. Nice par. par. Great up and down. Great hole by the guys there. Three pars and another birdie by Cameron Sisk there. Heading on to the fourth hole of the day. Let's see if Cameron can keep it rolling. Seems to have the lefts a little bit in this round. Short, short left, left yeah. Oh, short 30. left. It's, it's an interesting, you don't see a short left miss very often from a tour pro. 25 feet, 30 feet. You either see long left or short right. Typically short left is a... Yeah. No, this is right nice. So it. good. Maybe a little short. <coughs> Maybe. Yeah. Made it back there? Yeah, yep, it did. Good shot. I'm gonna shot. Guess. I'm gonna go. Ten, I'm gonna guess that was a that was a chippy seven iron. Nice start. Who that is? Just left of it. Looks like it's good yardage. That was a beautiful shot. It looks like about pretty close to where Sean's is. About eight ten feet left of the hole. Pin high. A couple of good swings into this par three so far. to hang in there, it's going to roll right. Ah, it's going to catch the rough. Oh, it hit hard right. Yeah, okay. it might be. I have green to work with, but it might be a little dicey up and down. It's going to be a very dicey up and down. Came up to right wing. Still for a wide open pin, middle of the green. Still missed the green. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Oh, friend boost. Hit the pin. That was honestly a really good chippy hit. If that lands a foot further or a foot shorter, it's probably within five feet. But he got fringe a little boost fringe boost. Too. Trevor's got about a, let's say a 35, 40 footer. Straight up the hill. You know, it's not the shot he wanted off the tee box, but it's still in the green. He has a chance to make it, but I'm sure he's just looking for an easy two putt bar. I think what might've happened on Trevor's approach shot is he felt the wind and thought it was down off the right. I honestly thought that we walked up to the box too, but it does not play that way. See. Looks like pretty good speed, maybe a little short. Oh, it's way short. About four feet short. It's going to be a little tester. Still has a little chicken left on that bone. All right, we got David Kim about 10 feet for par. This would be one of those big par saves early on in the round. Let's get some momentum going right here. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 get up, get up, get up. <laughs> I think he hit a good putt, just not quite enough pace to hold that line. That's tough bogey, I mean, <coughs> it's not ultra difficult, especially with that pin placement, so. These are the type of holes that you don't want to be giving away strokes on. We'll see how he responds. Now we got old Scene Walsh. Sean has this ability to Scene, brother. He likes to be called Scene. Scene. Steve, Steve called him seeing before the round. Just a left to right here, probably breaking about six inches to the right, I would think. About Maybe 10 feet. playing a little bit uphill, despite what it looks like. I think this green slopes pretty heavily from right to left. Yeah. But wow. Yeah, wow. Well, Sean, has, Sean has this ability to just maximize his rounds. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah. Like makes a 20 footer on one. Well, he's, he's a pretty one, mediocre he's one, one shot. He's one, one of the two. guys that does not look all that impressive when you're watching him play golf. But they'll be done and he'll shoot seven under. Yeah. He doesn't do anything flashy. He just gets the ball in the hole. Right. I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and say today he birdies all the par fives. He takes care of a couple of par fours. He might birdie a par three or two like this. He might, I mean, the guy's liable to shoot seven, eight, nine under and not really do anything that looks. Yeah. Josh for his birdie. I just, man, having that flag in it, to me, like, 
to each his own, obviously, but to me, it just makes the hole look smaller. Yeah. It makes it look so much bigger for me because it has a, this big old tall thing that I can also aim at. <laughs> Were you aiming at the top of it? Or? Sometimes. Okay. 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 Trevor to save his par. You know, these are these are some nervy ones. You hate the three putt. Oh, that looks solid. Dude, I love that golf swing. That looks solid. Do you know what number? Oh, a little, yeah, bit, a little bit long, but hey, it's yeah, a solid shot. Well. Like I said, it's kind of just a par, par threes where you just kind of pay attention a little bit. Because it's kind of the only holes where you really have like longer clubs in, I feel like. That looks like a really good line, too. That should be the right number. This looks right. Oh, it's short. What do you think? Is this a wedge? Probably. Almost nine. No, I think it's... Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Nine, nine maybe for you. It's probably eight for me. Soft eight. All right. Four. Four. It's fine. The short one. Only off the left right now, I feel like. This looks so good. That uh, looks like a really that good line. That so good. That's really... That might go... I thought it just saw it disappear, dude. How close Brother, is that? I thought that went in for a second. Good shot. Uh, it's just barely short, but that looked really good in the air. Jeez. All right, we got Blaine here. Just a little bit right of the flag. It's pin high. It's just kind of squirted out to the right, but pretty straightforward chip shot, though. Uh, looks like he has a good solid line. Settle, oh, settle, do settle, it. Settle, do settle, it. settle, 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 just a little bit on the left side. The is really good. These guys are good putters. Definitely rolling the rock uh, well out here. <laughs> Heading its way. Looks a little far. No, just a little bit to the left. Yeah, it's not bad. Good roll. Good roll that. All right, we got Hunter here. I want I want Hunter to make it just to kind of get some get some mo going. First two holes, he's still trying to find his rhythm, but he had a nice shot into here. So. Hopefully he drains his putt for birdie. Hmm, just misses left as well. Dang. That's good. <laughs> Alright, we got Big Blaine. From about, looks like, five feet-ish? Nice. Nice up and down, Blaine. Well done. Good save, good save. Keep That's him going. That. That's a class. To clean up his bar. Which looks like it's around three feet ish. There you go, right in the heart. All good. Nice. Well done. Hey, Paul. Through three holes, Mark is one under. The rest of the guys are even in this group. Um, leader is currently at three under par, Cameron Sisk, with a hot start. All right, y'all, making our way up to hole four. We have a 420 yard, pretty much straight away, par four. Interesting thing about this is myself, Jared, and Kevin are out here today checking the pins, making sure they're all good. We actually had to change this pin. We had to move it about nine feet back. Cameron started us off.
Cameron in the middle of the fairway once again. Very scorable opportunity for him to make another birdie go four under through four. Josh up now. It's cutting beautifully. Yep. Right inside of the fairway. These guys know what they're doing out here, man, I tell you. Sam up now. I'm gonna put one out in the fairway. Oh my gosh, dude. He just hit that. Oh my. Now over to our control slow-mo cam. Let's take a look at the swing of Sam Murphy, one of the longest hitters, if not the longest hitter we have in the field this week. You can see he starts out with a really wide athletic stance, has a big arching backswing, gets the club in beautiful positions, drops it in the slot, fires the hips at it. You see that left foot kind of spin out, using the ground force beautifully, big, long, follow through. Super fun golfer to watch in person. I'm sure you guys are enjoying watching him in the Good Good Championship presented by Golf Galaxy. Thank you again to Control for the slow-mo cam. Let's get right back to the video. <laughs> Yep, good ball there. <laughs> and just like that, we got four in the fairway again. Um, boy, I tell you, these guys know what they're doing, huh? Shot, fella. All right, y'all, Matt and I have made our way up to the green here. We drove by other balls in the fairway. Everyone is in beautiful position, but George kind of found that right part of the fairway with a little tree trouble there. Dang. A little bit of, like you were saying, he's a lefty. Yeah, so he's actually working, it actually works out better to his advantage. Mm -hmm. He's working with less tree, um, so he could. He doesn't have a problem if he was a righty anyway, but it does kind of help him just a little bit that he can get over that tree and just put one kind of close. It's kind of nice. He has a 100-yard shot, Yeah. so he's going to have a high loft of club in his hand. Wind is, wind's kind of swirling a bit off the right, but I still think he should be able to get a wedge up that can float in there. Cameron Sisk up here. Let's see it. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah. See that pin? It's just in such a tough spot. It's a tough, tough spot. This is the first hole of the day where it's kind of like a Sunday pin. Yeah. It is a nasty. You got to get, I mean, super aggressive over here on the mm -hmm. on their right side and let him try to funnel back if anything. But it's still a beautiful shot. Still by a beautiful shot. He's got a uphill putt. Let's see what George does. Up. No tree. No tree. I can't see it. Go, go, wow. go, 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 stay go, go. For him. Stay for him, stay for him, stay for him. Honestly, that's dude, that's not bad. That's a remarkable shot. That's wow. honestly not bad. Finally, he's finally, now he's giving himself a look for birdie. First real look at birdie he's yeah. had today. Josh, Josh might be the fastest player I've ever seen. Dude, holy, he just steps up to the ball and just gets after it. Spin. Spin. Yeah, they, they, he just, just hit on that down slope a little bit, just kicked the ball forward. That's the problem with these kind of like, turtle shell greens as you put it on top and I mean you liter literally have to hit it in the absolute perfect spot. Sam has the best opportunity yeah. here out of all the guys. I mean he's 25 yards ahead. Yeah. He's probably got a 65. Yeah. Coming in nice and low. This looks really big good. Bounce, big, bounce, big, big bounce. bounce. Big bounce. Big bounce. No. Those are Oh, that's what I'm saying, that turtle shell green, man. He, If he would have played that about a yard outside of George's ball, it would have just kicked, skipped, and just sat right up there for him.
wouldn't be surprised if a couple of these putts drop. Same. Especially the way Cameron's been rolling the ball. Yeah. He's just like, so confident over the ball. Wow. So confident. We got Josh going first here. He appears to be out. He's got, solid. I think he's got a, He's got the toughest putt I think out of the group. He's got to go up. If he catches a bad putt here, he can be down by, down by that hill. Especially, this isn't really that makeable range. This is a solid 25, 27 footer yeah. here. Did he do it? Oh, great wow. putt, Josh. Great putt, Josh. <laughs> People like, I don't know if the camera's going to do this green justice, but that putt was so difficult. All these putts to gauge that speed correctly are difficult putts. This looks good. This looks good. This has got to go. Beautiful putt there by George. Good four. Tap in par. That was center cut. Yeah, that, that was crazy. That was the end. Nice putt yeah, there, that's, Sam. That's the difference between them, I tell you right there. That putt right there, man. Yep. That's the thing. They have such confidence in their putting. They know they can run those three, four feet past to get aggressive with it. Because they're so confident on comebackers. Mm -hmm. Me playing, I want to lag it up there to a foot. Tap it in <laughs> if it's... I'm lagging it yeah. up there. Yeah, good good putt there, Josh. All pars all around. That's a good hole. That's a really tough hole. I think if you... If, if, if these players can get out of here with par, that's that's a really solid score. I mean, they're working with the turtle shell green. Great hole there. All right, we're coming up to commentate um, from the green area. This is one of those greens you're going to want to land it in wow. the center, or you can yeah. just go right at it like this man just did while I was talking. I literally was saying, you should probably just go <laughs> for the center, and then he sticks it. I think that was David Kim. He was, I saw him leaning. Yeah, I couldn't tell where the ball was going. All of a sudden, it landed about five feet from the hole. Oh, wow. They are just throwing darts right now, boys. That's about 12 feet from Sean. And I bet that ball looked like it was about to go in the hole from his vantage point. Now I can't see who's going because this hill's here. Contact. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Oh, and it almost wow. went in. Wow. What? Holy. I just grab everything I just said. I said go for the center of the green. These things are throwing the mugs. Oh my goodness. Whoever that was, that's pretty much a tab I mean, in birdie. It's not like, I mean, they were a good probably 130 yards away, which obviously, obviously is still a wedge, but it's not like they're hitting these shots from 60 yards. Oh, this is a tough pin to get to, and they're all getting up on top. Now we got Josh hitting. Doesn't like it. He's a little left. Which that's all right. That's all a good shot. Not, I mean, it's still a good look at. It. I mean, it's 25 feet, but it's just up and over the hill, so it's gonna be tough to make that putt. But I don't know. These shots to this pin are pretty phenomenal. The thing to understand about this golf shot in particular is, like, when you're when you're working with a target on a wedge shot, for instance, 110 yards, you want four yards of space to work with between the edge of the green and the flag. If it's easy, if it's an easy up and down from a short-sided miss, you can take one of those numbers away. So from 120 yards, that six that you're looking for, that six yards you're looking for becomes four, which is how much space you have. So you can just pretty much fire right at this flag. Looks like missing right isn't that bad. So I'm not really surprised that all these guys are just going right at it here.
Mm. Oh, okay. Settle. Good, good run at it. That was, that was good. Good shot, brother. Mm-hmm. Didn't like it. It's kind of the second putt back-to-back -back he's hit just a tad too hard. You hate having to mark those comebackers. Some guys have different philosophies. Some guys want to be marking the comebacker because it means they gave it a shot. I think if you guys might mark the comebacker, you hit it hard enough that it has essentially made the hole a little smaller than you want it to be. All right, Sean up the hill. A little left to right breaker. Is that up the hill? What does that look like you, Brad? Up and right down. Oof. Oh, I blew it by. All right, David for the birdie, getting back at all square. Did it. Excellent. Good putt. What a good putt from him. That's, that's a good bounce back. And that's what happens when you hit a putt with perfect speed. Hole reaches out and goes, thank you. Take that. Give me that ball, bull. Really? That's what the, that's the whole says that when you hit it with perfect speed, yeah. That's intent. Never heard it, but I'll try it. You should listen closer. <laughs> I felt like that'd make me go crazy. If you listen to the whole talk? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I heard it. I'd really be out, I'd be out here listening to holes talk all day. Nice. Trevor, uh, two under through four, tied for the lead. After that start, man, that's good stuff. He seems yeah. to have righted the ship, got rid of the lefts. Josh for the ball. Seems to be leaning towards him a little bit. But hot. Solid knocks it in. Yep, but. It's drawn. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Good swing. Oh, Six. big bounces. Holy Six. bounces. That just bounced hard on the upslope. I think that bunker is by the green, though. Yeah, you're good. No, no, good no ball. yeah, yeah. But the bounces that ball took. Holy cow. Yeah. I mean, that's going with a three wood. This is so cool. Also going right, yeah, but that should be fine. Got three wood, it's fine. We get, we get Mark Baldwin's bounce and then we get Linus's bounce, or lack, lack of bounce. Good ball. Oof, Jesus, that ball's hammered. <laughs> that thing is sent. But it bounce, soft bounce? bounce. Yeah, soft that was bounce. a soft bounce. Dude, Mark's bounce is ridiculous. <laughs> At the speed slot. <laughs> Literally. Looked like it hit concrete. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. I thought it was yeah. going a little left. That's perfect. That's Should great. Kick a Good little ball. right. Oh, oh yeah. what the? Where's the right? Where's the right? Uh, yeah, I think it's in the fairway. It's in the fairway. Yeah. That's the best thing. All right. We got Linus going first here after hitting three wood. He has around 150 yards. Pins kind of in the back right. Four off the right, 23 on. So it's kind of in the back right, like I said. Looks like a pretty solid shot so far. This mm, pin location is brutal. Nice. Go. That one's a good one. <laughs> it's a good solid, like maybe nice six shot. feet. Nice shot. Good shot from Linus. This ridge runs off so hard to the left. If you literally, if you miss it five feet left, you're screwed. Shout out to Jared for setting this pin. This is the weird. number. This is good. Oh yeah. That looks oh good. yeah. Yeah. Well good, done. Shot. good shot, Blaine. That's a very good golf shot there. Mm. Imagine next one when we have like a live crowd. Yeah. That's gonna be electric. Yeah. All right, we got Hunter Reed going right now. Also wedge in his hand. Probably a gap wedge or some sort, 56. What's going on? Also right at it, maybe a little bit right. A little short. Yeah, that's, it's on the green, but it's a little far. It's all right, it's all right. Gotta try to take advantage of those though. 
think if Hunter, if he can just get his his distance control and his approach shots dialed in, mm. that's been his mistake today so yeah, far. So I'm checking the leaderboard again. <laughs> You're obsessed. I am obsessed. I like seeing. No, I do. I do like that. Cameron Sisk, three under. Th- All right, Sean. Sean. Sean and Trevor though catching him. They're at two. Nice. All right, Mark Baldwin going. He's a good 30, 20 yards ahead of him. Side hit lie though. Yeah. It's definitely going to shoot left as it good. is. This looks really good. Go, go, stay, go, stay, go, stay, go, stay, go, stay, go, stay. Go, stay. Uh, yeah, spun back on him. Oh, it looks like it's coming down the ridge. It's okay, right. it stopped. Like 15 feet-ish, but... That looks so good, right. though. You're up past his ball mark. Yeah. <clears throat> Someone's got to go between them. Like, as they come towards the hole. Going up the slope here for Hunter. Gotta get the speed right. Go. That's alright. A little, little past bad. three feet for his par. Alright, we got Mark Baldwin's putt here from about 20 feet. Should be going up the hill. He's gonna make it. That could be, that could be nice. Get up to 200. Oh, this looks good. Oh. Dude, I'm telling Stay you, out every single putt that Matt. Mark's hit so far have scared the hole every so time. Okay. Nice good par. <laughs> Big booty plane. Got like an eight footer for his birdie. That's just a win. Didn't really break for him. I thought it should break it left. Right. Yeah. yeah. I kind of saw that same thing. That was weird. It should have broke left, I thought. I mean, everything goes that way. Yeah, yeah. And Linus also has his putt here from about seven feet. Got a decent look off of Blaine's putt here, so we'll see if he draws his thing. Good solid bird for Linus right there. That's really good. Laid it back to 150 with that pin. Is that one under right now, or is that two? One under. Yep, nice. uh, Hunter. Yeah. Nice. We got about 152 yards. Shout out Precision Pro. These things are customizable. These things are freaking really, really clean. Beautiful little hole here. That's part three was played beautifully by some of the guys. I expect the same thing here. Good. Tracking just left of the pin. Good yeah. safe shot there by Cameron. 20 footer down the hill. Good look at Birdie. Draw. Draw. Just hanging out to the right a little bit. Yeah, there's such a big false front on that green. This is another really tough pin position. Hold on, hold on. Stay, stay. Nice shot there, Sam. Shot big gun. He's gonna have 10, 12 feet right back up the hill. I mean, I watched him play this hole in the qualifier and he went long from the end of the but So I think in his mind he was thinking, right, how can I eliminate that mistake? Well, that could be it. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Stay there. Stay there for him. Stay, stay. stay, stay. Oh my gosh. That's brutal. And it just keeps going. It's going to be right down there with Josh's. But again, it's an uphill chip. Uphill chip, uphill up and down. Count on them both putting it inside five feet and making their pars. All right, y'all, making our way up to the green here. Sam, again with the best shot out of the group into the second part three of the day. Uh, George and Josh are left with about as straightforward as a chip as it comes for a golfers of this caliber. And Cameron has about a 12 footer right back down the hill the hole's got to be looking like a garbage bin to him today though he's made three putts and just barely missed the other one on the right edge expect a couple birdies out this group leaving the screen oh get up get really get up. i really like uh this josh kid in this game josh, 
oh, really yeah. efficient. He is. He's quick. Yeah, he's quick. He's quick. efficient though. Like his game is like yeah. not a whole lot can go wrong. No. Josh is probably not too happy with that chip. George is definitely gonna learn from that. Tell him to slow up this hill. Again, if I'm a betting man, he's gonna get this up and down. Yeah, he definitely learned. Good shot there, about two and a half, three feet past the hole. Again, it, it'll just eat at you. I don't know if you've ever played competitive golf, but if you're leaving yourself three footers, four footers, and stressful pars all day, it'll wear on you. Cameron Sisk up here to take it to four under through five. This man is just rolling the rock today, firing on all the cylinders. It really is a treat to like be out here and in person watch a golfer playing at this level. That's still a foot by. Wow. And he put it, he was trying, I feel like he was trying to put to that marker. That's the same putt that Sam had on this hole. He drove it 15 feet by the pin. Good par. Another par there by Cameron. Keeps him three under through five. I believe we just took a look at the leaderboard up in the tee box. He's the leader right now. He is currently the leader. Um, second place right now is Sean Walsh at 200 par. To get into red numbers here, we have Sam. Nice putt there, George. Nice putt, George. All right, Sam to clean up his power. Nice there putt, you there, go, Sam. Sam. Three, three, four, three. Mm -hmm. Three powers and a bogey there. Cruising. Cruising. It's just a bad club. Maybe he didn't hit it quite as solid as he wanted to. That was right at it. But now he's going to have almost like a terribly difficult chip. But it's going uphill. We will be pretty far below the green. Now David Kim, after that great birdie on the last hole. This hole is it's a, it's a difficult green. But since they're moving it up today, just about a nine iron in, probably, for most of these guys. Gets it. That looks pretty good. Oof. That is about 40 feet long, and that is going to be a very tough putt up and over a hill. It's going to be quick. So that two shots are already not in the best positions on a short par three. about six seven feet just right of the hole that was a great shot that's a good look for birdie to go to three under i think now josh with the good good hat on he's repping today sounded really solid He got very lucky that did not get into a bunker, but just like David, he's going to have a very tough putt up and over that hill. It's two tough two putts coming up. Yards for this hole, courtesy of Precision Pro Golf, is 154 yards. Sean hit a nine. I said, I said 150 to 160, so. You were right in the middle. Right in the middle. 154 yards. Sean hit himself a nine iron. Trevor also hit a nine. Maybe uh, Trevor, Trevor's going first, coming up short. Encouraged all the other guys to hit theirs a little bit harder, but... Sean appears to just know his yardage as well enough to not have to really 
mess around with clubbing off of other people. Oh, slid by, slid by the lip. That was an excellent chip. On the very chip. It's one beautifully of those, one of those chips you expect to hit extremely close, but they also could easily get away from you if you just hit a little, a little off the center. And he did a good job. Has about three footer, a three footer for par. Now we got two extremely difficult two putts coming up from Josh and David. This green is just tough. Even Sean's ball. About six feet, seven feet right of the hole. If it was another two feet right of where it is, it's off the green to the right. So just a very tough green in general. We got David Kim here. It's probably about 50 feet. It's breaking hard right to left. Massive slow coming off this bunker on the right. He appears to have played it high enough. Is it the right speed? Beautiful putt. Beautiful oh, putt. Wow. That was unbelievable. That was a very good putt. I don't think you guys like, I don't know if anybody at home is able to fully grasp just how hard that putt was. Yeah. It's, he made that look easy. Yeah, that was a great putt. And Josh and should have got a pretty good read on the speed off of that. I mean, the line is gonna be very different. Josh is gonna be a little tougher. He, he has to, a lot harder. He has to play with that left slope a little more. He's gonna have to go over the higher part of the slope, which is gonna make the last third of the putt even quicker than David's was. It needs to go. And that's got to go a lot. Yeah, we saw in the last few holes he had been kind of running about three, four feet by. Then yeah. he got worried about that thing going long, running off the green. Yeah, it's almost tough. But it's scary if it gets away from you. All of a sudden, if it gets ten feet by, it catches that slope, runs down. All of a sudden, you're chipping. So yeah. it's easy to do to leave it short. It would appear that at this point in the round, five holes in, Josh still trying to dial in that field with the putter. Fifteen, the 15 three, feet. The three worst holes in golf. Sorry, the three worst, three worst holes in golf. You're still out. Yes. Downwind, downhill. This thing's gonna scream. Like a little low. Excellent speed, though. That's, That's exactly close. what he had to do. If he's not gonna make it. Just make sure you're tapping in. That is going to be a bogey for Josh. Bogey. Even I mean, even though the tee box has moved up, this hole is just very difficult if you don't hit your ball in the right spot just because of how tough this green complex is. You can get yourself in some bad spots. In the same vein, Sean putting himself eight feet from the hole, dead uphill, maybe a little bit left to right, that is a massive victory. Mm -hmm. This would get him to three under through five. And what a start. Very solid start, nothing flashy, just hitting solid shots, putting, putting the ball where it needs to be and making a couple putts so far. Ah, yeah. drains it. The putter what looks a, really good in his hands right now. And that's kind of the thing, it's like, Sean's 300 through five, he hasn't really done anything spectacular just, yet. Just putting the ball where he needs to put it and, and that's that rolling is, in some putts, I mean, it's... You know what it looks, you know how it looks? Simple. It looks professional. It looks, it's simply professional. Sean's one of those guys, he's not gonna go hit and drive it 360 or, you know, do crazy things, move the ball over the place. He just puts the ball where he used to be. Solid putter, solid around the greens. Just, next thing you know, he's seven under at the end of the round. He just, it's crazy. I am not that way. It's, it's pretty remarkable. I hit the ball all over the place, so I wish I had a little bit more of that in my game. It is, it is remarkable to watch just how, oh my goodness gracious. That's a tough look. The, the sure. slow high side lip out is one of the more excruciating things in golf. Yeah, that is not fun to watch. That's a bad feeling. It is, but in, back to Sean, it is remarkable to watch just how far you can go in professional golf by not making mistakes. Clean up his bar. Excellent two putt from David there. Excellent. Group, group went one over on that hole. Sean gained probably almost a shot on against the field on by making birdie there. That's a tough par three even with the team moved up. Sean Walsh is catching up. He's 300 now. Let's go, Sean. So they're battling it out right now. That's got to be intense. Cut over to them. This is Sean here. This is 
as high. Uh, wanting it to go. Oh, we got hit by the wind. It's short of green. It's, it's short by quite now. a bit. I think the wind will switch. <laughs> it feels like it's more this way now. It's definitely switching a little bit. I lost it again. Looks like it was maybe off I to think the right. That's there. Yeah, that's really good ball. Oh, just a little left of the flag. Perfect. Well done. Well played. What tournament did you say he won by seven? SoCal Open. Two weeks ago. Oh, it's two holes right there for Blaine going right. Try to have to get up that get that one up and down as well. It's a bit of a it looks like it's chipping uphill though, so it doesn't look like it's too big of a deal. Looks like a weird pin though. Mm. It looks like there's a ridge on the right side. I think oh, that one's pretty solid. Go. It's pretty solid oh, there. Pin that's high. a really good shot. Nice. Pin high, just a little bit left. He's got a good solid look again. I was just thinking, I'm like in desperate need of food right now, right? And then I remembered something. I remembered something very important. Didn't I remember something? Well, I was so hungry that I was like, wait a second. I have a Magic Charms Control Meal on the Go bar in my car. You want that one or you want this one? Now I'm gonna go with the Magic Charms. I think it's gonna taste like- They're both pretty good. It's like a birthday cake in my mouth. Roll, 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 roll. Mm, it's got another knee knocker, like six feet. It's definitely, I mean, I don't know, you can, Obviously, obviously get up and down is fun, but over the course of the round, it does kind of wear on you a little bit mentally. You definitely don't want to be doing that too often, but Blaine's got a good solid short game. I think he's going to manage, manage that, no problem. I got Mark Baldwin here, just from a little bit left of the flag. Uh, this putt looks fast. I mean, you can see in his practice strokes, he's barely even moving the putter here. He's going to just try to tickle this ball down there. If it goes in, I think it's a bit of a bonus. Oof. Dude, I'm telling you, I mean, I just, I'm sounding like a broken record right now. He's literally scaring the hole on every single putt. I mean, that's, that's, he's a really solid putter. Hunter Reed's putt here. I honestly, I thought Matt, Matt, I thought Mark's putt was going to be a little quicker. I think Hunter's definitely moving left to right, but not like anything too crazy. Definitely like a cup outside or something. Maybe a cup and a half. He's trying to look for his first birdie. I wanted to try to make this thing. It's a good two. Mm -hmm. Twos are good on the scorecard. Mm -hmm. A little up and down action from the tee box. All right, we got Blaine's putt to hopefully clean it up. I mean, he's done a good job on the last few chips, but he's got another six footer here, straight up the hill.
Leaderboard still the same, Sean Walsh, Cameron Sisk, on top of the leaderboard at three under par, through five. All right, y'all, making our way up to the six hole of the day. We have a big dog leg left, 412 yard par four. Honestly, if they're seeing his drive on hole four, if Sam takes driver and cuts his corner, he could put it up there at the 40 yards of the green. Yeah, see so it's going that right side. Sit just a little bit for him. Yeah, good shot there. Yeah, there by Cam. Sam going with the three wood. I thought yeah, we might see a driver out of him, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's just perfect. That's perfect. Might have to sit a little bit. Yeah, he's good. Perfect Found the right shot. side of the fairway there. Him and Cameron both on very similar lines. Now George. Sit, 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 sit. sit. Wow, a bit of a different play out of Josh here. Stepping up with it looks to be like a driving iron. Yeah. They just for some reason don't want to go right by a farm. No. And I bet it's because if they hit an Aaron shot on the right, they don't want to be carrying any of that stuff. That is perfect. Go, go, go. Action. Yeah, oh wow, what a yeah. beautiful kick to Got the, the right kick. There. George stepping up with a professional ball. He must have carried that hill. Go see if we can find his first one. That's a perfect shot by George there. Let's go see if we can find George's first ball. All right, well, we found ugh, we found George's ball. There's no white stakes over here, so he's able to hit it. And actually, he got kind of a really, really big bounce over there. So if he has a shot, if he's able to play it, he can maybe escape out of here with the, with the par. All right, y'all, so the situation we have going on now is actually a very lucky break for George because that is a man-made obstruction in the electrical box there. And his ball has come to rest right next to it. And being a lefty, he would obviously be standing there. So he's gonna actually be able to get relief and maybe get over here and have a clear shot under this tree up towards the green. So if you could grab the wedge you're gonna do and yeah. take your stance and show me a swing, yeah. then we can determine if it's gonna impact your... Right on. No question he's getting relief. A righty would have gotten relief as well because that's in his line of flight. But yeah, he's gonna get over here and have an open shot. Probably has about 140, 150 yards left to the green. What an out. Wow. What an out. Wow. Nice shot, man. That was so cool to watch. Beautiful shot. Got it up there right on his line. Gonna be interested to get up there in the fairway, see what he has left. I think he's probably gonna be about 30, 40 yards short still, but phenomenal out there. Has another opportunity to make a great par. Zach. Thank you, Marks. No mud ball. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got big down.
and as Sean puts his driver in the middle of the fairway, we're, he's exhibiting excellent control over that club. Bye, Josh. Does it turn? Does it turn? Oh my. I cannot even see daylight between that ball and hole. That was a quarter of rotation. My. Incredible. Wow. What a Incredible. Great par there, George. My wow. goodness. <laughs> incredible. That's a sigh of relief there for that one. That is incredible. That was one of the most fun parts I've ever had. Yeah. Good stuff there, brother. Thanks. Wow. Good par. Nice, nice part there, Sam. Par. Sam. Great My comeback. Gosh. What wow. a hole from the gentleman. That, that, that's the most exhilarating hole we've seen all Frick, time. man. After an electrical box to getting some relief <laughs> to going over and then getting up and down. and Man, these guys are fun to watch. Let's go. 142 yards. He's going to be able to get some spin on this, but I, I think he's just going to drop and stop. Sean's really good at controlling his spin. Again, another skill that's not very flashy, but very effective. Never saw that one down. Shout out Precision Pro. Yep, Sean's just a little bit long on the right side of the green. I'm gonna guess he's in the sand wedge. I'll ask him here in a minute, but. Okay, all right, just a little bit past pin high. Probably 10 feet left of the flag. Pretty good shot there. Interesting decision here, David deciding to chip it. Well, you wouldn't have done that. Probably not. I would think I would have putted that, but I'm not a very not. I'm not as good of a chipper as David is. Clearly, yeah, look at this thing. Here. Look at it track. What a, a good shot! That's a wow, that's unbelievable. That's for that's a par save, isn't it? He's got the mittens worth millions of dollars, they say. Or 50 grand, depending on what tournament you're playing in. Yeah, it really does depend on what tournament you're playing in. Oh, All right, Sean for. For a putt up the hill, right to left, for another birdie. Wasn't too happy with the shot, but I would take it all day. 
Really good line. That was really oh, good. that's so Dive. good. Dive. That's so good. Wow. Oh, my. oh my god. This man can't be stopped right now, brother. Holy. That, okay, so right there is a perfect example of the value of being pin high. He pulled that thing, what, David? What, he pulled that thing probably 10 yards left, but he's left with a 30 footer, makeable putt. Being pin high and not missing fairways. Those are two things if you can do every single time, you're gonna be a pretty good golfer. And, you know, if you're able to make 30 footers, that helps too. That looks pretty good. All right, we're, here we go, Trevor, up the hill for his birdie. Wait, is it up the hill? It is. Yeah, it's up the hill. Yeah. About 15 feet. Yeah, 15 and a quarter, probably. Yeah, yeah. A couple of quarters, maybe. Short. Okay. Low and left. I'm gonna be honest, I think, let me, let me, once the scores update, I'm pretty sure we have, they're tied for number, uh, but Sean is now four under. Could be in the lead. He is. is Sean he? is Sean, in the lead. Sean Walsh in the lead in our group. One stroke He's playing lead. some dang good golf right now. All right, Hunter Reed. First one off the tee with the honors. This hole kind of like calls for a draw, but you don't really have to hit a draw. You can carry these trees easily, so. Kind of just go straight over these trees and it should be the right line. Yep, Linus. well done. Lily Adal. Another bomb. Looking pretty confident with this driver right now. That's that's a big weapon out here. Big booty Blaine with another good yep, one. Man. Off the tee. That should, be, that should be the line. The thing I'm going to say is this is hole five, right? No, sorry, this is hole six. Seven, eight, and nine are super attackable. Yeah. Like, seven, eight, nine, I'd say the average today is going to be at least one or two under par. Two very gettable par fives and a very easy par four, so. Mm -hmm. God, that's so that's money. For a three wood, that line should be perfect. That's great. Good ball. Dude, you can just hear how pure that was. You could call this, you could call this prime position here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's take a look, see. Looks like Mark Baldwin here, middle of the fairway, he's got 117. Dude, this flag is basically in the middle of the green. <laughs> this. Oh, it's 14 on, the green's 30 deep. It's eight from the left, which is quite generous. Yeah. It's pretty solid. Get a little right. Spinach. Just kind of that front left part is kind of tricky. Yeah, though. It does kind of run off there, right? I think if you kind of if you leave one a little bit shorter than that front left, you kind of dump one there. Mm, that's rolling off the green to like probably 25 yards away. Mm. Linus has I don't know flip wedge probably 85, 90 yards, as well as the rest of the guys. So. I expect to see two birdies, at least, out of here. Ooh. Right. A little right. Is yeah. Slightly short, but... Not awful. I mean, that left side does look a little bit intimidating, I will say that. It's just tough when you have, like, such a short number and you have a wedge in your hands, you're kind of licking your chops right here. <laughs> yeah. You do definitely want it closer, but... Sorry, right. you still got a putt for birdie. Hunter can ride the momentum. Hunter, slightly right as well. A little long. This, oh, wow. Long. That was a little long there, too. Do you think there's still adrenaline with these guys right now, or do you think they've settled in? No, I think, but yeah, a hole six by now, I think we're all good. Just kind of getting the rhythm a little bit. Right. First hole, you can get a little bit of the jitters off the tee, and obviously trying to get your round off to a decent start, so. Sean Walsh leading. Let's go, Sean. Mr. Shallowsman. Blaine. Oh. Blaine. Go. Alright, Blaine was right at the flag. He's a little bit short, but so far on this hole, he's, he's got the best look for bird. <laughs> Four under through six from Sean Walsh. Three under through six from Cameron Sisk. If there's one like, I'll shave my head. <laughs> Alright, Hunter.
to read here for his bird. Slightly downhill, should move to the sit, right. Oh boy, he's bombed that thing up by five. I mean, that was like six feet by, honestly. Been there, does it? <laughs> Fell in love with the line. Yeah, it's, yeah. Easy to, it's, it's easy to do. Let's see here, we got Linus. He's got maybe 25, 30 feet, mm -hmm. 25 I would say. Where's Birdie? Should be moving right to left, I believe. A little bit down, maybe? Yeah. Not a maybe. whole lot in this pot, I feel like. I can see this one fall. You think this is right to left? A little bit, yeah. I think you had the That's line a just a little bit soft, but... It's all good. Still made par there. Yeah, Linus in for par. I think Mark's making this. Good vibes. I got good vibes on this one. That's our Wi-Fi password. Don't tell anyone. What's that? That's our Wi-Fi password. Don't tell anyone. Are you hearing me? Yeah, good, good vibes. vibes. Good vibes only. All lowercase, no space. Love the sight. So good. Oh, it needs to reach. Oh my goodness, dude. He's, he's oh, so like okay. kissed the lip every single yeah. time. <laughs> big putt for momentum. Big putt going through the first nine holes. Yeah. I'll try. Definitely don't want to be over par first nine. There's only four guys that were par right now. They're only one over. Hits the right lip and lips out. Dude, I thought that looked like it was gonna go in. That was a good thing. Par for Blaine. Got par five coming up, I believe. I think you're gonna see the guys go very low on the next three holes. Turn it up there. And let's see, I, I have a feeling the group in front of us probably birdie or maybe eagle the next hole. These one of the Alright, this is Hunter's bit of a comebacker here, maybe like five and a half, six feet. There you go, nice Big comebacker. Pod. Nice spot, nice. Hunter. Leaderboard kind of stays the same right now, though. 500, it says 558 from back here. It's probably going to be playing about 550, 545 from up there where they're at. It's a beautiful par five. Honestly, not too much trouble off the tee. Um, pretty wide fairway. This is the one that I watched Sam play. And he was able to eagle it with his brother. They both eagled it and played it <laughs> four under par, which is really, really cool to watch. So I expect nothing less out of that young man. All these guys really putting a big bomb down there on the fairway and giving themselves a chance to get up and down for an eagle. Um, and George has got to be rolling right now. I mean, he just had the craziest up and down. So anything could happen on this hole. I'm expecting a couple of eagles. I'm expecting, I'm expecting three, four under on this hole for sure. Beautiful ball there by George, just up that right side. Should leave him a perfect look into this par five. You heard Matt say this is a scoreable golf hole. I'm excited to see how Sam plays this hole. He's the longest out the group. It is right into the wind today though. It's definitely gonna change up some game plans. Still a very eagleable golf hole. Another that is great ball. Money. He has not missed with that club all day. No, that's money. He has not missed with that club that's all day. Alright, this is the one I'm interested to see. A little low on the face, right down the middle. Not gonna have as short as he was expecting into this hole, but wait, that's their misses. That's their misses, fellas. <laughs> Gotta keep that in mind. You can see it, he teed it up a little bit lower. You probably wanted yeah. to cut it through and cheat that wind a bit. Got away with it. Draw, 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 just, just up the right side. It's got Zork off. That's Everything right. works out towards the fairway. That's right. a good spot. Yeah.
Great freaking shot from George. Stay up there, stay up there, stay up there. Still fine there. That should hopefully be his first good look at birdie of the day. Yeah. I mean, makeable eagle chip, but should definitely leave himself a five footer for birdie. Started right. I think it's turning. Oh, it's. Oh, wow, got chewed up by the way. Oh. That's gonna be tough, especially with this pin set out the rough. Because it's again, it's another kind of turtle back portion of the yeah, green back Yeah, this is a here. tough pin. And there's a false front, just long right of it. Yeah, this is a tough pin location. <laughs> Oh, Josh. Nice shot Wonderful there shot from Josh. Josh. Okay. okay. Started out right. Hopefully yep. it's drawn back. Turn. He likes it. Sit. He likes Sit. it. Sit. He loves it. He likes it. Stay. Stay up. Stay up, little bugger. Okay. That's a great that is, spot to miss. That's honestly, although it's a chip, that's an eagle opportunity. It's flat right miss. there. You're just bumping it on a flat portion of the green. Hopefully he can make his first birdie of the day. Sam hasn't made a birdie yet, has he? No, he's not. Nope, no, he's parred out. Both those gentlemen who have not birdied yet today have some really, really solid chances at birdie, as well as George. Cameron in a really, I'm gonna be honest, Cameron's got a tough shot. Cameron is by far in the toughest spot. If he gets that up and down for birdie, that is that's an almost unreal. equivalent to George's par in the last hole. Yeah. That's such a tough spot right there. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's honestly a pretty good shot from there for Cameron. That's about the best miss you could have, because yeah. you miss long, rolls off that false front. Still, the way he's been rolling the rock, got a pretty good birdie look. Mm -hmm. Tough putt. Nice putt there, George. Good putt, George. Now, Sam Murphy up here. I bet you he was looking at this kind of aggressive. This is very makeable. Oh, that's Chip. Yeah. Four foot left for his birdie. I had a feeling he was getting aggressive on that. Yeah, I mean, I think I think he knew what was up on that hole. And he got himself a really solid read past the pin. Not too much to, to work with on that putt. I think he's got that one for birdie. Gentleman that's got some issues right now, Cameron. Very, very tricky putt down the slope. Could potentially get away from him, so he's looking, potentially lagging this one close. But I mean, he's, you know, he's three under, so he could be also draining this putt right in the back of the cup, too. Good nice putt, putt Cameron. There, Cameron. Good putt. Smart play from the young man. I mean, he had a very, very delicate putt on this hole, so for him to give himself that for par, great little uh, two putt from Cameron. That speed was just perfect. Perfect speed. Unreal. All right, now the last eagle opportunity of the green, the only one with an eagle putt, we have Josh Sedin up here. This would be a huge catalyst. Really good. Oh my gosh. 
Great birdie there, Josh. Good pot. Birdie for Josh. Birdie. I thought he had that. Dude. It just leaked left at the last second. All right, y'all, now we have Sam Murphy with about four or five feet here to clean up for his first birdie of the day. Nice putt nice there, Sam. Pot, Sam. That's the thing we were talking about in the part three. Those are the distance putts you got to get yeah. falling, especially in a 36-hole event. You have to be making those. Maybe that's the one, the catalyst you need. Mm -hmm. But you do have to imagine a birdie on this hole is not picking up a stroke in the field. Absolutely not. should be make birdie here. No, absolutely not. This is a very birdie hole here. Good par. Two birdies, two pars there. On the whole eight. According to Precision Pro Rangefinder, we got about 290 yards right here. And Trevor's about 10 yards further back than that, so he's got about 300 yards out. And it looks like he flared his drive right a little bit on that one. He didn't hit as far as he normally does. But that is, that is a miss in this hole. Left is OB and no good. So you gotta, if you're gonna miss, miss right. And now it's looking like just a simple layup for him. Maybe not super simple because he has a couple trees in his way, but if he can just get a layup, have a little wedge in, try to get back in position for this par five. Uh, Sean hit his drive a little right, not terrible, just off the fairway. It went a little shorter than just like Trevor, I think he just flared a little cut. Went a little shorter than it normally does, but he has around 265. And I think he's gonna be waiting for the green to clear. Go. Go. That was right out. Can't tell where it landed from here, but that looked really good. It says middle of the green. Just short of the green? Yeah, I think it's just short of the green. Oh, okay. Right. He's got he's got an up and down chance for a birdie here on this par five to go to five under. Now here's Josh for his second shot. Looks like he was about 230 or so. And I did not see where that went at all. Ball speeds courtesy of Rap Soto. David was a full 10 miles an hour ball speed slower than Josh, but they were right next to each other. I believe David got a little bit of extra roll. Maybe Josh got gusted on by the wind, but regardless, they're hitting the same shot from 225 here. I'm gonna guess, if I'm, I'm gonna guess, I think David's hitting a, a long iron of some kind. We got 190 yards to this pin here. Pin's kind of tucked in the back. Really do not want to go long to this. I'm gonna guess a little bit into the wind, 190. I'm gonna, I'll get his number in a second. I want to say he's probably hitting a seven iron if I had to guess, maybe a six. It's either a hard seven or a light six. I really don't want to go long. I, I'd probably go with the hard seven. Contact wasn't quite to his liking. A little bit left, he's looking. I did not see it down. David is short right and not in a very good spot at all. This pin is back right and you do not want to be anywhere right of the green or long of the green. And he is almost in the desert right, probably about a 25 yard shot. If he goes low, he puts in a risk of keeping it off the green and still having a tough shot for his next one. If he goes a little higher, he might just be able to get on the green and give himself some type of look at it. Trevor is also short right, but he's a little further, he's a little closer to the green. He'll be an easier shot than David.
That's what a shot. Sit right there. That's so That's amazing. Good. I mean, that's eight feet away, and that is, I mean, that was an unbelievable shot. That was professional. Full swing, soft hands, just, that was really good. All right, Sean's going first, I think. He's got about 70 feet, probably. 60, 70 feet from off the green, Texas wedge. Tough putt, the last 10 feet is straight downhill. Let's see if he controls speed here. That looks a little, wow. Little hot, little hot, that's gotta sit. But, I mean, I mean, it's not a terrible result. Yeah, no, uh, what is that, probably seven. eight, nine feet? Probably, yeah, so I was gonna say seven or eight feet. And uh, when you, you, know, you look at the PGA Tour stats, 90% of putts wind up within 10% of their original distance. I'd say that falls into that category. Pretty touchy shot from Josh here. This thing come out, came out pretty hot with no spin. A little bit of spin. Not enough. That's, that's a, you're okay with that. You can get too cute with that, and all of a sudden you're chipping again if you leave it short, so. He's got about a nine, 10 footer probably, but. You nah. know how it is though, when you're standing on a par five with an iron in your hand, you it's tough to swallow that 12 footer for par, for birdie. Yeah, it is. Now we got you know, Trevor, this is a big, big up and down here for him. And what's even tougher to swallow is when you're on a very reachable par five and you're trying to get up and down for par. That's, he's gonna have to steal his nerves and get this thing down at two. Release. We got Sean making a charge. This would maybe put a bit of a slow on it. But no, yeah, tap in for that's Disappointing after hitting a really good drive. Excellent drive. Had 233 and hitting four iron. Walks with par. That's going to hurt. So this is probably the toughest pin location on the screen. This is why most of the time on par fives, you'll see these guys just aim, and, aim to the middle of the green, dump it on, try to two putt. But getting a little bit aggressive. Can't help but think maybe that has something to do with Sean being four under through six. Does Sean have a chance to extend his lead on this par five? I would not have guessed that was going to happen. That was a great play, looked like by David. That, that, would have been, that would have been an amazing up and down. This yeah. hole has got to be looking like the Pacific Ocean to Sean right now. Will not be surprised one bit if this drops. If he makes this putt and buries the next, he has a very, very good chance of breaking 30 on this opening nine. Whoa. That looked like it was going to go in. I, it had to have gotten to the hole and just wobbled a little bit. I think it just lost a little speed at the end. I think he probably wanted to hit that out a foot past the hole speed, and he hit it right on the hole speed. Beautiful. That's a, that is a huge bar. Going away oh, tied man. with everybody on the hole after how he played it. That's, that's huge. drive here. There is another hole there, so it, it honestly could be fine. fine. I can't tell if that's in the fairway. It looks like he liked it. Probably the right side of the fairway. Nothing? Trying to try. Yeah. Doing your best, Jim Nance. 90% of it's going to get cut out. <laughs> Good one. Thanks. It's all good. There's actually a little bit more room to the left that opens up just a little bit. Especially if you're Blaine, you got it way past down there. 
That was good. I hit it on that line and the price run is fine. Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. good swing. Mark Baldwin yeah, right down the middle with a little baby draw. Perfect. That's the shot you want in this hole. It's been fun. It's a little bit different. Um, obviously with the with all the cameras and all the golf carts, it's a little bit of commotion, but I guess you just gotta get used to all the people being up in your grill, but I kind of like it, to be honest with you. So if you guys get your very own control bars, I think a good way to eat them is put them in some ice, put them somewhere nice and cool. It's the best way. I think it tastes better like that. What's that? The marks in the sprinkler now? I was wondering, man. <laughs> He's gotten some big bounces. Did I, did I lose that much distance? This is kind of when the course kind of opens up these few holes, these next kind of six holes. So definitely got some opportunities the next six to get a few back and then finish out on those last five. Fine, right? Hopefully he's fine. You can try to get the up and down for birdie. Also going with iron, he seems to have struck it pretty solid. Can't really tell. Yeah, I think he's on the green there. Good solid shot there with that slightly awkward stance. Kind of, be, kind of in between the five and the six, I hit a good six, and it's 35, 40 feet short. So I knew that was kind of what I was going to do if I got a bad gust, and wind kind of picked up right when I hit. So yeah, we'll take it. This looks so good. This looks so good. Be good. Go in. Settle, settle, settle. Oh, is this is it. Nice it's shot. Good shot. Very nice. Shot. Wow. Hunter coming in here. He's coming into the green. Little wedge. This this is a tricky shot. Roll out too much. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. That's just a scary one because if you're long on this pin, like even four feet long, you're down in there. You're you're chipping from it from a decent ways. Bo Titsworth was a fan favorite. Unfortunately, he just. Just missed it by two shots. It's a bummer. Remember? Yes. I wanted him to make it so bad so I can just mess around with him on the golf course, honestly. Settle, 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 settle. This is what we were talking about right here. This is what we were talking about. Oh no. Alright, we got Blaine's putt here coming up next. A little bit shorter than, than Linus is, but obviously. Has the benefit of uh, seeing Linus's putt here first. So. Maybe oh, that's that's nice. Oh, this looks good. Yeah. This looks really good. Well go, done go, there. Go. That's nice. all you have to do. Let's get birdie there. Big bird. Nice. Yes. But. All right, we're gonna take a little live look at the leaderboard here. Sean Walsh still in the lead through seven holes, it says. I don't know if it's updated. I think they're finishing out their eighth hole right now. Sean is four under. 
Uh, Cameron Sisk is three under, and obviously now after that putt from Mark Baldwin, that puts him at two under. So we got a one, two, three, and four. I think my prediction, I still stand by it. I think someone's shooting 10 today. right down the middle of the fairway. But yeah, Sam starting us off well there on a 420 yard par four, it's a tight fairway. That's why you see him stepping up there with three wood. Not his best drive, but got away with it right down the middle, so have a good look at birdie. Gosh, Josh. Just lost it a little bit right there. The thing is with desert golf, you miss in the desert, you could either be completely fine or, or completely screwed. Yeah. It, it, it's it's very desert golf is so much about driving. Yeah, it's a you have play to play drive it. Well. Shot and play. Yeah. Good ball yeah. there. Gosh, great ball. Great ball. Great ball. He right, has not missed 150. with that club all day. No. He has not missed with that Beautiful club all right day. 150. Wow. Nice shot there, brother. Just up that right side. I think that's perfect. Should find the green stuff. Good ball there by George. Good George. Let's get up to the fairway, see what these boys got in. Here we go. That ridge splits. So you got about, we'll call it seven or eight paces past the flag to that ridge. So I think something that lands around the flag is going to stay around the flag. Yep. It's trying to work its way Turn back, it just hanging out to the right. <laughs> He's not happy with that shot. This is a very gettable pin, but you can see there's a false front. It's a huge false front. It, but you can't zip it too much and you can't come up short. This looks so good. If it doesn't spin, right bit, don't, don't spin. To the right don't spin. Nope. Oh my gosh. He fell. Wow. It's where you want to be though on a miss. Up and uphill a little putt chip thing. He's chilling. Oh. That's not a bad leave. That was going to be so good too. That's not a bad leave. Hitting that tree, you could have gotten a lot worse break than that. All right, now you got George up. It looks like he has probably. 85, 90 yards. Just flip it up there. Give yourself another good look at birdie. The putter will eventually get hot. And it'll start dropping. Get up. Get back there. Oh, no. That it's one did zipped. not stay up. Zipped right by Cameron's ball. Down the hill a little bit. That's Straight a tough shot, shot to get to. That's a tough shot to get close. It really is. Sean rips a drive down the right side. That is perfect. Might barely be in the, no, that should be fairway. It's 420 yard hole, par four, dog like a little right. It's a pretty easy drive, wide open fairway. And then if you do a good drive, you have about a, 50, about a sand wedge, gap wedge in. And Sean had a beauty there. Mmm, good ball. David also had a great drive. Two really good drives to start off this hole for the group. So good, absolutely smashed. We got three good drives here and one drive a little right. Probably be fine, but let's see where they're at.
just not, not, not the best effort of approach shots. I'm sure none of them are too happy with those, but it's a difference. They'll hit shots like that. They really compound mistakes. Odds are they all get it up and down. Let's see what they can do. Honestly, if all these guys... <laughs> I think nice shot, these, George. If all these guys part this hole, this has got to feel like a bogey. I feel like they were in prime yeah. time position to get up and down for birdie. Aside, from, aside from Josh. Sam up here. I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna open the face a little bit, I bet. A little by. He's That's giving himself ran. testers today. He really is. Just ran by on him some. That is the thing, though. It is a two-round event. And all of these guys, if they get hot, I promise you are capable of finding 61s, 62s. So even if you finish this day at one or two under, you can still get the double digits under par on the final day of the Good Good Championship. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Woo. Good effort there by Cam. Looks like a tapping ball. Yeah, he's just walking up to it. Yeah, Good par there by Cameron. I'm sure he expects more when he's in the middle of the fairway, but he's still got a very good round going today. Now Sam, maybe after that last hole, the putter's gonna be warming up some, but you want the putter to get hot for birdie. After being in the fairway, he, he didn't think he'd have a seven, seven footer for, for, for par. That's a tough bogey there. Dang it. Obviously he didn't put himself in the best position with that tee shot. He was pretty far back, but yeah. Still a lot of golf left to be played today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And when you have his distance off the tee, you, 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 you can just get after a course like this. Yeah, whole nine is gonna be very gettable for these guys, mm -hmm. especially for him. Okay, George Markham here. Looking for a clean little bar and clean up. Nice par there, George. Good par, George. Okay, moving on to hole number nine. Very reachable par five. I know Sam's gonna be probably going after it, so maybe see some eagles drop some birdies. Sean Walsh hitting from 110 yards here. Pin is front right on this hole. This is a very, very, very birdieable position he has put himself in. Didn't Looks see it. Like it's a good distance. It spins. Might go in. What a shot. Wow. This man's going low today, boys. That is a great shot. About three feet behind the hole. David Kim. Ooh. Spinning. Wow. I might. Ooh. That could go oh, in. Wow. That could go in. That could go in. Oh, oh my god. Oh, we a little low spinner. That is going to spin if it goes. Yeah, but it's fun. That's short. That's... And it's, it's spinning, and it's spinning, and it's gone, and that's that's just a tough look for your boy. Looks like Trevor is fine over there. He didn't find any bushes. Oh, oh maybe he did. Yep. He is behind a bush. He will not be able to go at the green. He's going to be chipping out. Looks like he's hopefully getting it around 30 yards from the green. Well, about... 40 or 50 yard pitch there. He had to get up and down for par again. He's he just hasn't been quite on point with his ball striking today. Uh, Trevor with a touchy little 40 yard shot or so. Luckily he's got that backstop behind the pin to have a little cushion. But no, he doesn't. That looks pretty good. Now he had it opened mm, up. But just didn't quite have enough spin. 
It's just tough to put that spin on it downwind and only from 40 yards. A lot could happen on this first half of the putt. Sit down, so sit down, hard. sit down. Hit the sit down. Hole. I. Yeah, that's just. And it's coming, coming back. back down the backstop. Coming back down that backstop just a little bit. Yeah, about five feet for, for his par. That looks like Trevor will be putting first. <clears throat> this would be a big putt. I feel like we've already said that about three or four times with them, just because he has been having some par saves so far. This would be a big par save. I try to chip out, get a par, and then have a very easy par five coming up next hole. Great putt. Wow. What a oh, putt. Oh, good putt. Good. Was, we're, we're over here 50 yards to the side, and we can see how much that broke. That was a very tough downhill slider, and he jarred it right in the middle. Very nice. And Josh was a great putt, too. Very, very good That's part. two good par saves. Yeah. Made both those downhill putts look extremely easy. Lift it in. That putt broke a lot. That was a great putt. And that was longer than four feet. That was actually probably five or six feet. The thing about those breaking putts is I feel like a lot of people have an instinct to play less break and just hit them hard. But if you hit them hard and under read them, that's not going to happen. That ball's not catching the hole. Mm -hmm. now, David, that's definitely the easiest putt out of all the putts we've seen so far. Being below the hole is huge to this pin, and David has executed that great. Yeah. Good putt. And, uh, <coughs> looks like you might have hit a spike mark, but yeah. all's well that ends well. All, all one putts. Four one putts in the hole. Two birdies, two pars. Sean is five under through seven or through eight, excuse me. With an easy par five coming up, might be seeing a low round today. Yeah, nice. in play. I don't, I don't think it is, I guess. Yeah, just slightly right. I don't think it's in the bunker. Should be able to go for the green from there. to Blaine he bombed one up here there's a couple bombs up here um, it's looking like it's Blaine and Mark well up here they're about 83 82 yards I'm not gonna say it but I'm gonna say it. this pin is a makeable pin location you can spin it off the ridge he said it lots of opportunity on this one Linus probably has like 160 good find thank you I saw I saw how spinny came out I, I thought there's no way it could have been out there but. I'm just glad he didn't have a lost ball. That's always tragic, you know, when you just lose it to a stupid bush or something. He's lying? Yeah, he's fine. He's, he's just insane. Shot. He's like 160, so. Yeah. Might need to go. go. Yeah, it's gonna go. Gosh, it's right at it, too. It's almost right at it. Dang. Hunter Reed going here from the fairway, so he has definitely all the control he wants here. Oh, a little skinny. Let's see what Blaine can do. He clips it nice. Might need to run. But go. go. Oh, there very go. Nice. nice. Good shot. Good shot, Blaine. As of now, there's only one person over par. Everyone else is either even or under. And only three people even. I wouldn't be shocked if there's not an over par round today. Mm. You think oh, there will be? No, no, no. Oh, you're right. I thought you meant for the whole tournament, sorry. 
Mark, see, things are getting they're heating up here. If Mark puts a good one on it, he's giving himself some striking distance heading into this last hole, the front side. Hit it nice. I need, I need to sit on it. Needs to spin. Spin off that thing. Mm. Doesn't really quite move off that thing. Yeah. I mean, you can make that. That was kind of ten like footer. It. Yeah, it's just a little bit too, a little bit outside that range. Good. Oh, oh nice. nice. All right. Well, I thought Linus made that for a second. He's in for par. Nice. The only thing that Hunter, it seems like he's been dealing with today is his proximity to the hole. I agree. I agree. He's had a lot of these like kind of longer-ish putts where making it's kind of a bonus and you're trying to just get the speed right, but... Like off the tee, he's been putting himself in decent positions, but if he can dial in his approach shots, I think he's in a good spot. Got about a 20 footer here. Slightly, not slightly, it's actually a bit of a slider left or right. This would be, this would be a big putt if he makes this. This looks good, this looks good. Really good. Oh my goodness. That thing just peeked over the front edge and didn't want to go in. I thought that was in 100%. Dude, that was a Beautiful putt. There was almost not a doubt in my mind that that was going in. First drop shot of the day for, for Hunter here. Is it back to even? Back to even. This is it's tough. Yep, real solid. That's two in a row for Blaine. Heat it up. Had a boy. Josh. No downwind too. These fellas can get after this one. Ball there, Cam. Beautiful drive. Oh yeah. Great ball there, George. Beautiful drives. A Gosh. shot, Cameron. Cameron is gonna have what a freaking shot, dude! Twenty-two feet there for Eagle. Oh, he went bro. so aggressive too. He could take the lead back with that putt. He definitely could. He could take the lead back with that putt. So, using your best judgment, wherever you last cross the margin, you have options for relief. You so. take lateral, which is two club lengths. Yeah, as long as you stay within that relief area, all the play. Balls in the play. Thank you. Lion two. George up here now. I mean, this pin has to be enticing to a lefty, mm -hmm. but he does kind of play a fade. Oh, it looks like he's oh no, backed Sam, off. Sam backed off. Been. Sam's coming up now. I expect Sam to be down here, right in that collection area.
Nope, he oh, started no. it right. Oh no. Turn. Wait. Oh no. It landed on grass, but I don't know if it stayed up. Dang, he started it right. Because it, it didn't hear a splash. I heard a thud. Oh, did he pull it a little bit? Stay up. Oh no. Good shot. Great shot. Three great shots. He looked down like he didn't like it. He got away with it though. Three really good eagle putts. Let's go figure out where Sam is. It's in grass. Great ball. Swing there. Thank you. It's a nice break there for Sam. Let's take it up and down for his par. Yeah. That'd be nice. Get out here for par. Yeah. Great shot, Great Sam. Great shot there, Sam. What a right. par save. That is phenomenal. What that a is par phenomenal. save. See, that's Good the thing. We, we've talked about all day. They don't compound bad shots. Yeah. He just hit back-to-back -back bad shots. He yes. still made par. That is a difference. Not on par five, you do have that liberty where if you hit two bad shots, but they stay in. Still a very good opportunity to make par. Now he's able to go on to the back nine with a very salvageable round still gone. Very. Great birdie. Great birdie. Tapping birdies, that's a great way to end the front nine. Give you some momentum going on to the back. That's birdie, George. Good birdie, George. Doesn't break that mm. much. Definitely got aggressive with it. He definitely got aggressive. I knew he would. I knew he really wanted to make that one. That's a good birdie there by Josh. Again, another solid way to end the nine. Roll on into the back, knowing he just came off a birdie. Mm -hmm. He's coming off a phenomenal par save. Yeah. And then a tap at birdie. He's got to be feeling good. Cameron says here to clean up for his birdie. Good birdie there good by, birdie Cameron. by Cameron. Three birdies and a par there. Quite a whirlwind par there by Sam. Gonna make her way onto the back nine. And thank you guys yep. for watching this video. All the love thank and you. support you make this event possible. We're gonna keep having a beautiful, blessed day. And we are indeed. We got nine more some, left. Watch some great golfers on the back nine. Let's do it. Let's get to it. Trevor skated by. That's as close as you want to get there. I guess it cut a couple yards off, but that's scary. And you're coming out of the rough. Other three guys are in perfect prime position. So is Trevor, honestly. But David's gonna be going first. Looks like he's about. 175 middle, pin is about 180 pin. Uh, yardage is courtesy of Precision Pro. Uh, we got David, we're at 171 into the green. It's Trevor with 159, Sean with 157, and Josh, our long drive champion of the group, with 145. So par five, again, remember that. He's probably got himself an eight or a nine iron here. That's right at it. That's a little left, left. Gonna left. Cut. Kit right. Can't roll that's my very good shot. Oh, that's a good eagle look. Hit Heisman. <coughs> about 25 feet for eagle. Dang. I'm, I'm having a feeling all these boys are going to have some good looks at eagle. That is looking very nice. He's a little left leg. again. Middle of the green. He's got 25, 30 footer for eagle. He just puts himself in the right spot. 
that's a miss hit, but like when your miss hits are good, it, like everyone says, it's a game of misses. And if you can miss hit it and leave yourself a 30 footer, that's pretty good. Just right at it, or get a little right of it, got a catch a piece. Oh, sit down, sit down, down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. She sat. Get up and down for a birdie. Looks like they kind of grew the rough out a little bit. When we first got here, that was all, it's not shaved necessarily, but it, it looked pretty tight. Mm -hmm. it looks a little longer now, so that shot got held up, but I can't help but think that's a good break. I really love this guy's move. I really enjoy watching him at a golf ball, especially when he's hitting shots right at the flag like this. Just a little short, maybe a little defensive going long again after the last par five, but we got three eagle looks and an eagle chip coming up. All right, Trevor's hit a great chip on the right side. It was, it looked a lot easier than it was. It was kind of up and over a ridge, and he had some great touch. He has about a two, two and a half footer for his birdie. Now we got some eagle putts. We got. Let's see, we got Josh, probably what, 40 feet? Josh, a pretty disappointing shot here. Had a 50 degree into this par five. Left himself what looks like about a 35 to 40 foot eagle putt. Yeah. Never turn back, I'm a little short. Be a tapping like, birdie though. Looks like a little bit of a misread, which is interesting because with the lake out to the right, you'd think he would try to start this thing to the left and let it move back towards the water. But starts it out towards the right. You must have seen something that we didn't. All right, we got David here, probably 40 feet. Not the easiest putt ever, but it's, it shouldn't be too difficult to judge. Looks like he hit it a little sit down, hard. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Yeah. Pretty good putt, eh? Uh, Roll, trickled, out, trickled out a little bit on a little bit. He's got about... Five, four or five feet coming back. I'm sure he's a little disappointed in that and speed control, not just leaving himself an easy tap in. He's gonna put a mark on it. The more I look at it, the more makeable it looks. It's pretty much dead flat. If not, maybe just a little bit, maybe a titch downhill. This about to shoot 29 on the front side of the first round of the Good Good Championship at Weston Kierlin, presented by Golf Galaxy. That's a good cleanup right there. It's like when you got ketchup all over your face, you just get a napkin, just wipe it up. It's exactly what that's like, yeah. All right, anyways. <laughs> we got Trevor here. Let's see if he can wipe that mustard off his face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go, brother. This to shoot two under on the front after everything that he's gone through here, that would be a massive victory. Yeah, get up now. That's, got, that is some grinding, folks. We got two clean faces. Let's see if we can get a third one from Sean Wall. He's got a little relish on his lip. He does it. Excellent six, golf shot. Six under through nine holes. He's rolling, just playing solid golf. Again, he has not done anything crazy impressive. He's just putting the ball in the right spot, hitting fairways making the putts he needs to make. So this is the hole. I think this is the easiest hole on the course today, in my opinion. We haven't really seen the back nine, but that's just my guess. I think that's good, right? I think that's good too. But that don't, is an interesting I just don't know if he's going to be able to get to the green in two. Sean Walsh is 59 Walsh. Sean Walsh is 59 Walsh right now. He shot 
six under on the front nine. That's a 29. Right? Is that 29? I think so. Or that might be... Or is that a 30? No, that's a 30, but still. Next side is par 35, so... That looks pretty solid. Good ball. Sean, if you're watching this video back, I hope you just saw how excited I am for you. You better keep this up. You better keep this up. And now there is no more rounds over par. It would have landed kind of on the, we didn't see a bounce, but it would have landed kind of like down on the down slope, so we okay. didn't see it. Just a spot. You guys go to like with right here. Okay. It's hard ground, short rough. It'll get you. It'll get you. Unfortunately, Marks went into the water. He's gonna have to take a drop. Short left of the green. I mean, that's. I mean, if you gotta miss it, you gotta obviously miss it left. But. It's a scary shot. Yeah. Oh no, settle blame. No, no, no. Land soft, land soft. No, no, no. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, it's gonna oh, stay up. My it's gonna stay up. It's oh gonna stay up. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that is a blessing. Oh, you could tell he didn't like it off the start, off the face. That is that is a bonus. That is a bonus right there. That right there could have just saved his round. Yeah. Hunter. Hunter is shot. Left side of the green. Uh, yeah. The, the about, short? About pin high, yeah. What? I thought it was short of the green. <laughs> is it not short of the green? It's over a ridge. Oh. I think it's button. That's aggressive right oh. there. Going right at the flag. Oh. This looks really good. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh, it actually bounced forward for him. That's a really good shot. That's a solid shot. Maybe like 20 feet for Eagle. Birdie, probably at worst. Sit, sit, sit. Not bad. That's for a turkey. Eight feet, seven feet. It's all right. Hopefully he makes that thing. The fall needs it to fall. Come on, Hunter. Oh, that's gonna stretch a little. Mm. We saw it line. Three Venus. feet for his birdie. Venus for the second eagle of the group right here. Right, Venus is big bird attempt. Oh. Oh. Just barely it's low. Still a birdie though. All right, this is for Blaine's third in a row. This would be a nice birdie. And especially after that break. Good birdie. There you go. Nice. Good bar. Good up and down. Yeah. All right. There you have it. Everyone. Yep. Yeah. Everyone now has finished the front nine. Uh, we're going to take a look at the leaderboard currently. In first place, Sean Walsh through nine holes, six under. Trevor Eulistat. Two under through nine. David Kim, two under through nine. Mark Baldwin, two under through nine. Blaine Hale, two under through nine. Linus, two under through nine. Lots of two unders, lots of them. Massive tie for third right now.
Right over the right, that's, that's in line with the flag. You got a little bit of room right. And you have a whole hill that kicks it down, so. The one in front of this one. It's that one. Right there. Yeah. That's in between those is basically where the flag is. And then to the middle. So if I took it over like the base of the tree. Yes, not this, not that, that one. Yeah. If you take it directly over that with it moving left, then we're in good shape. Okay. That might be really good. <laughs> I was about to say it's gonna have a good eagle putt, but it's a birdie putt. <laughs> wow, that that's was huge phenomenal. from Sam right there, brother. He needs, he's right there. Mm -hmm. He's such a talented golfer, bro. Now here's George stepping up. Looks like he's got about 175 left. Set. Oh, oh, oh he goodness. used that slow beautifully. That could be really good. I'm excited to get up there and see where George and Sam's balls are. Those are phenomenal golf shots. Come on. Straight back. You go find my tea every time. Nice. Yeah, I can swing. There you go. Oh my gosh. Wow. Good shot, Josh. Great shot, Josh. See, that's it, phenomenal. That's that professionalism yeah. right there, I tell you. They see the course in a different way. I'm telling you right now, we're in that bunker. We're thinking about landing it right on the green and running it up there. Oh. That's a phenomenal golf shot there. Cam here, not really short sighted, but not the easiest of chip shots. Yeah. He should be able to put this pretty close. Get on out of here, go to hole 11 with the par. I wanted to fly that about a yard further. Mm -hmm. Get it to check on the green a bit and then release down. George here for what be an amazing birdie. Dude, this putt's gotta be going up over that ridge. Yeah. Oh yeah, look where he's aiming. Look where he's aiming. He's gotta be aiming a good four or five feet left of that hole. Great putt. putt. Great putt. Like we said, walking out with a par here almost feels like a birdie. Well, I mean, any other day you're playing the course, it is a birdie. Yeah, that's true. A four here could pick up shots on the field. It really could. If Josh makes this putt, that sand save is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Talk about being an artist on the golf course. Yeah, that's... Taking it up on that slope.
Obviously, none of these guys are happy walking away a hole with a bogey, but if there's a hole he had to choose the bogey, it'd be this one. Yes, 100%. This is a very tough golf hole. This is a guaranteed shot on the field here. He makes his putt. Great nice putt. Birdie, Sam. Gosh. Wow. Big he, country just took him to town there. He was the most out of position player in this whole group. Mm -hmm. Found a way to make a birdie. Almost made an eagle. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> this is a huge momentum putt for Cameron here. Yeah. Coming off a great front nine. You want to keep it rolling into the back nine. Yeah. Huge momentum. On any of those putts inside seven feet, these guys are so confident in the stroke, they hit it with pace. Yeah. But sometimes like that, a little less pace, that's finding the bottom of the cup. Looks like David's got 210 into the green here. Pin is tucked in the back, though, so he's going to land this probably 10 yards short and get it to run up. So probably looking for about a 200 number. Similar deal with Sean here. His ball is just about five feet away from me. He's 202 to the flag. Can probably anticipate trying to hit about a 195 number though with the downwind shot. Maybe closer to a 190 shot. Beautiful shot from David there. Did kind of just what we talked about a second ago. Landed it short, ran it up over that ridge on the right side of the green. I think it's going to trickle out to pretty close. Now Sean stepping into his shot. About eight yards closer here. I anticipate going to have a pretty similar strategy. I can tell you one thing. He's not going long. Oh, and this is left. That is not looking good. That is not where you want to be, but with the pin tucked on the right side, he's going to have some green to work with. Normally that bunker shot would be close to impossible, but I think he's got a chance from there. One seventy-two here for Trevor. His ball's in the air. It's headed right at the flag. What a shot. Pin high from here. It looks like about three feet. I'm sure it's closer to eight, but that is an exquisite golf shot there from Trevor Eulestad. And this ball from Josh is away. He was on an upslope, so this thing is climbing and climbing, and it is perfect. Pin high in the back, trickling towards the hole, getting better every second. What a shot there from Josh. Trevor and Josh, excellent shots into this number 10. Usually a par 5, being played as a par 4, those are going to be some great birdie looks. It's downwind today, but it's still a 515 yard par 4. There's three looks inside probably 15 feet. So I like what Sean's doing here, practicing outside of the bunker, making contact with the ground, feeling what he wants to do on these shots. That's good. Sean's going to have a tough shot here. He's not a whole lot of green to work with. Running away from him, but it's not undo. I mean, it's not impossible. It's being can clip it well, get a little spin on it, he can get this thing close. And that is oh, a... Wow. I mean, I can't help but think that was a really good bunker shot that just caught the fringe. Yeah, that didn't. He might have caught it a touch behind the ball because it didn't have much spin on it. But still, I mean, if you had told him you'd give him eight feet after that shot, he probably would have taken it. It's going to be a big putt because I think for every good golfer, there's always one point in the round where you need to get up and down for par or something to keep your momentum going. And you have to make that putt or keep that momentum going to really get that round low. And with these other guys putting for birdie, you hate to see a two-shot turnaround when you built up such a big lead. Yep. Got David here, about 12 feet for birdie. Looks like he's going to play it about a cup out right. A little more than a cup. And he, and he jars read it. it. Wow, what a putt. That was an incredible read. Right down right in the center. He played it about six, seven inches out right, and that thing curled right in there. If that putt broke that much, I'm going to say Sean's going to break. Maybe even a little more, especially going downhill. Yeah, Sean's got himself a very touchy putt here, but as we've seen today, he's got that putter rolling nice. 
but it is a little different putting for par than it is putting for birdie. You might be a little more freed up putt for birdie, but for par it might feel a little bit more consequential. For some guys that's good, but sometimes it can get in your head a little bit, especially when things have been going so smooth, for lack of a better word. All right, your shot is a big putt. What wow. a freaking par save. That's huge. I mean, that's, I mean, for him to go super deep in this round, that is a huge putt. Just to keep the momentum going, wow. he got the extreme, the hardest hole on the course out of the way with a par, a scrambling par. Now he can get back to the easier holes and see if he can keep this train rolling. That's really the difference, isn't it? You know, a lot of guys in the field hit that shot. They're walking with bogey, not feeling that bad about it. Mm -hmm. Sean hit the about the best bunker shot he probably could have from there. Yeah. Beautiful work from Sean there. He comes away a stroke back of everybody else, assuming Trevor makes his putt here. But you got to feel like the momentum's still on his mm -hmm. side. For sure. And Josh just made a great birdie there. Now Trevor has his putt to go. To what? Three under? Let's put him at three under. Yeah. And it'd also right. make the group three under on this hole, which would be unbelievable. It's a long hole uphill. If this were playing as a par five, the group would be seven under on this hole if Trevor makes this putt. Keep in mind, they didn't move the tees back, they just changed it to a four. And they Very make, nice. And they make five. short work of a 515 yard par four. Mm -hmm. under the net. What an incredible display of golf that was. Oh, the ball, it's perfect. Go in there. That is money from Hunter there. <sighs> yeah, these next uh, four holes I have not seen. Also, I'm noise. not really sure if Linus's tee shot will be in this video. I filmed it on the phone. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't quite get it on one of the cameras, so if it's not in the video, he's just a little bit right. Ball bling. Mm. That's right money. down the middle. I mean, Big booty bling. If you if you birdie this hole today, you're essentially you're taking one from the field. This is not gonna be a very common birdie hole here. That's a good golf swing right there. I mean that's impressive. Should be good. Yeah, it's fine. Right side. Left. Yeah. Lane, yeah. go in, go in. Go in. Oh, my. So oh, my God. I can't tell if that just hit the flag or what. Like, I think that's really close. That's really close. I had like 217. It's kind of in, in between clubs again, but this time I was, it was a little downwind and the pins in the back, so you can't go long. So back home with seven iron carriers, like 190, and 190 was the lip of the bunker, so I knew a good seven hours gonna cover the bunker and I was just kinda hitting a low one. was able to find his ball off the tee so that provisional they didn't have to use it so I think he's on the green so he's gonna be putting for birdie from where he is right there. Just a little bit right of the green. Yeah. Just missed it a little bit right of the green there but it's about pin high he just kind of left his face a little bit open but it's all right. Right. Well, it hit the flat. It hit the pole. Did it no really? No way. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Nope. Hit the pole and bounced off. How far was it going by? Probably. Uh, I don't think it was. I think it it landed. I think it bounced right here. Hit the, hit the flag. All right. It hit the flag. Almost went in. Yep. <sighs> 
I'll take it. We're not, upset, shot. we're not upset about that. Nice birdie. Birdie Blaine. It's a weird putt with that slope so hard off the start. It is, a, it is, I mean, line's important, but almost your speed determines your line. It's kind of weird. Go up. Go up. Far. All right. Well, I'm honestly shocked that we saw a birdie on that hole. Um, 516, 517 yard par four. Um, typically, it plays as a par five at this course, but we decided to uh, give the boys somewhat of a tougher, tougher challenge on this hole, and we turned it to a par four. So. On to hole number 11. Sorry to take you guys away from the video, but we are here at Golf Galaxy, the presenting sponsor to Good Good Championship. And you see in all of our hands, we have the Callaway Paradigm and the Callaway Wedges. Here you go, Matt. You can hold on to that one. I actually play those joints in the bag, but yes, Golf Galaxy carries all the brand new Callaway equipment. They have Trackmans. You can go test it out on. Trust me, you're going to like how far the ball goes with these clubs. Not only that, obviously, Good Good Apparel will be at Golf Galaxy's nationwide. I got the summer drop on. We all have on the Good Good Apparel right now. They actually just bought their good good apparel yeah. today to throw yeah. it on yeah go check it out thank you golf galaxy we'll get y'all right back to the golf there you go sammy good ball there sam Good ball, George. Two good balls there to start off the first group of the day. We have made our way up to hole 11. Pretty straightforward par four. You, you get what you see here. Bunkers all over, guarding the green, but yeah, not sure how far it is. I'll figure that out. Good ball. All right, y'all, four great balls there by the first group of the day on hole 11. It is a 400 yard par four straight away. What you see is what you get. Defense up around the green is the bunkers. Not an easy golf hole, but very scorable like all the other ones out here, aside from hole 10. Yeah, let's get on to a hole 11. Let's see what these boys can do. This is one they gotta be thinking they can get after. I don't think the bunker comes into play at all. They're gonna have plenty of club to get over that. It's not necessarily a green side bunker, so I think all these boys are gonna get pretty close here to make them pretty. And now that we're back here behind the green, you can really see the contours of it all. It is kind of in a fishbowl. Mm -hmm. You just, if you miss 15 feet, uh, yeah, if you miss about 15, 20 feet to the left, it'll miss the fishbowl, but anything inside of that. Like you that, watch, watch it. beautiful shot. Curls a little bit towards the hole. Wow, was that Cameron? Yeah, that was Cameron. Cameron has been, just it's just smooth. I mean, Sam and George are just in A1 position on the left side of the fairway, firing to a front right pin. 
Sean is six, six under, under through nine. nine. Puppy, your no. tan line is gnarly, brother. It's bad, brother. It's bad. This looks really, gotta get up a little bit, gotta get up a little bit. Spin. Oh, see, they're playing. Great shots there. Okay. Great shots there. Him and Josh? That was mm -hmm. him and Josh? Okay. Now, these are the guys that can get really aggressive with it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm obviously, I'm interested in asking them all these questions and kind of listening to oh, this what good. they gotta Stay say. Stay there. Oh. Spin for him. Great shot. Good shot there. Great shot. That's about as aggressive as you can get. He missed mm -hmm. on the right side of the hole. Again, no spin. These greens must be playing a little firmer than what we can see. He's gotten really aggressive oh, with his good. wedges. Be good. Be good. Spin. Nice shot. Great shot, Sam. Great shot. Wow. Great see, shot, see. Sam. He's just, he, after that birdie on that tough hole 10, mm -hmm. I think he is just ecstatic right now. He is just excited about getting towards these pins. That collection of balls is not one you're going to see from an amateur group. Nope. <laughs> Maybe balls. out of us, good, good, we'd get one of those on somewhere <laughs> close to there. <laughs> All those balls inside 15 feet. Should definitely have a couple birdies dropping this hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> making yeah, so many ball. birdies, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Sean has been birding every freaking hole, yeah, so. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I was birding every hole. Yeah, he had to get up and down from old yeah, stymied in the bunker. He had to make it impossible to, <laughs> to lose the box. Plenty of birdies for everyone. <laughs> Well done. Yeah, Thanks. Still don't know what that is. Oh boy. Just fairway over there, right? I think so. This is just all the holes. Like Paw three, right? He's back. Best uh, driving display from this group here. David hit a really good one, Josh hit a good one, but uh, Trevor and Sean both leaving theirs out to the right. I was just about to say, I like Sean's play of hitting three wood off this box with the pin being tucked in the front, leaving himself more of a full yardage into the green. But when you hit it right, that kind of negates all the benefit you get from hitting three wood. So it's gonna be interesting to see what he's able to do here. All right, y'all, buddy, first here we have George, the lefty. He's got a really good look. Down the slope a little bit, gonna be quick. That's the thing, all of these guys when they're putting inside 20 feet, that ball scares the hole. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, 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 that's a tough one to get aggressive with running mm -hmm. down the slope. These greens are slick now. Good par. Just doesn't move. Just doesn't move. Good par there by Sam. All right. Group's last opportunity to make a birdie this hole. After those four drives, I thought, we got to at least see one birdie. Great wow. pot, Cam. Great putt, Cameron. Another birdie for Cameron there. What does that take him to? That takes him now to really four under. Yeah, because he bogeyed last hole. Yeah. I'll take him back to four under with uh, Walsh at six under through nine. Wow. That's a great way to bounce back after a bogey. I mean, kind of hard to call it a bogey, but it is, that is the hardest hole in the course. on the place to par five, but bogey, bounces back with the birdie, gets right back that four under par number. Which is a very solid score today, obviously. Has him in second place for a good, good championship.
both Sean and Josh able to get decently good shots out of that situation. I feel like Josh must not have had a very good view of the flag because 20, 25 feet left of the flag isn't exactly what I expected from Josh being on a flat lie with a pretty wide open shot. David here with a 96 yard wedge. This looks just a little deep and right. And that is not exactly what he was looking for there. He's gonna have a just fine look for birdie, but from 96 yards, especially with David's abilities with the wedge, you expect him to be a little bit closer than that. Not a bad shot necessarily, but certainly not what I think he thought he was capable of there. Hey guys, heads up. I'm coming right at you. Well, looks like Trevor is a little bit stymied with the tree. Nah, I don't think he's going to be able to go at the pin. He's going to like he's gonna try to get it to the front side of the green. Uh, it's a pretty good play from there. He's got about 35 feet for his birdie. Or no, I guess, is that for par? That's for par. Yeah, 35 feet for his par. Sean once again electing to go with the putter, it looks like, from just off the green. Pretty simple shot though, depending on how it comes out of that fairway. He's straight up the hill, about 30 feet. Came out pretty hot. Wow. But very well judged. He's got about two feet left for his par. Yeah. That's a really nice shot from down there. that about six feet short right that's a tough putt you just go up and over a ridge and it's gonna turn hard right at the end and he, I don't think he had quite enough break on it and not enough speed pretty solid effort from yeah. Josh there and that the putt had a little bit of action to it so leaving himself with a tap in I think he's gonna be pretty happy with that And being that Josh is, uh, he has a propensity to putt with the flag in, I think it's, that might have thrown David for a bit of a loop there. Well, David will have a similar putt just from the other side. Similar line, so it's going to be breaking right to left. Breaking quite a bit of the hole, it looks like. Downhill. He's gonna hurt 96 yards out, take it a bogey. That's uh, that's tough for the psyche. On a course like this, where when you meet birdies with wedges in your hands, making a bogey is just gonna. It's one that's probably gonna frustrate him quite a bit. Now we got Trevor for his daughter for his bogey. Was that the second bogey of the group today? I think so. Yep. Good putt to save his bogey. 200 par. I mean, that could be big. And grand scheme of things, if he finishes strong, making that bogey instead of a double bogey could be huge. Tough. I mean, that was one of the harder lip outs I've ever seen. All right, big booty Blaine with the drive. This is, I mean, this is a beautiful drive right here. There's trouble left and right on this tee box. I was, I was pretty ballsy right there to strike a driver right down the middle. Good shot. Looks like it's going a little bit high. I mean, I'm assuming that's three wood. It almost looks like it's flying like a five wood. <laughs> Should be in the fairway though. Go with a more of a, a 
less aggressive club off the tee, but anything in the fairway I think is good. I think it, see, it looks like a pretty short par four. Oh, it goes slightly right, but I think it's going to catch the fairway and go left. Kind of funnels back in. Yeah, that should be fine. Might be in the rough, but I think it's it's fine there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my gosh. It should kick right if it does land in the rough. It should be fine. Should be all good. Shot for Mark. Alright, green is the shot. The wedge. Oh, it's going a little right. Catch. Oh no. That's not a great spot. That's short side there. Let's miss it a little bit short right. It's also going to be chipping downwind. I mean, there's not a whole lot of wind, but it doesn't really help his case there. Dude, Blaine is up there. You weren't kidding when you said he hits it far. I want to see a good one out of Mark here. He's kind of been thrown through the ring in the last two holes. Sounded not good. Oh, he doesn't like That's it. That's way it's left. left. Dang it. Holy. Oh, no. Put there. I'm a big Mark fan, I will say. Hunter doesn't like it. And left as well. I think people are scared of that right side or something. Settle, settle. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. That's her five in a row. What a shot. I, I don't want to do What is that for? A bag of... No, we can't say it. A bag of somethings. Comment down below. This is going to be a delicate shot right here. It's pretty solid from there. That's not... I don't think he really liked that chip, but it kind of rolled, rolled out and worked out for him. He still got about five, six feet to clean up his par, but it's a tough spot where it was at. Regardless, this is a good two putt either way, but man, he, I know he wishes he had a shorter putt there for a second putt. Alright, Hunter's got a decent look off of Mark's putt there, so should Six know how much it's going to break to the right. Speed-wise, it's pretty good there, though. Yeah, there you go. Good nice. On the leaderboard, there's only two scores that are even ball. That's the worst of the day so far. There's a reason these guys made it in. Actually, I lied. There's only one guy at even par now. Josh. Yeah. It's like I'm wrong on my feeling that there could be one guy over par, or one or two guys over par, but I think I'm wrong on that. These guys are playing nice. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going over par today. I can see that. Back to even. That's tough. I think Mark was the one that had a good solid start, wasn't it? The start of the nine. Yeah, he was two under. Yeah. He's two under through seven. He was leading from this group. Mm. Just kind of sizzled out a little bit. All right, Linus has got his par put right here. Oh, looked a little low there off the face. Dang it. That's gonna be another drop shot for Linus. Just missing the green short right. Mm. All right, Blaine's got his three foot putt for for uh, birdie. Honestly, this is just a testament to show just how patient Blaine's been in the first part of the front nine. I mean, he's, he was kind of, I wouldn't really say struggling, but he missed a couple greens, had to chip to save his par, and all of a sudden he just rattled off. Don't want to say it just yet, but rattles off five birdies in a row. I mean, that's just staying patient right there, just kind of letting, letting golf come to you and not trying to do anything crazy. Don't do anything different. Just keep plodding your way around and don't come. 
see if he makes his putt. Just like golf cup. There you go. Boy, Glenn. That's a bag nice. of somethings right there, baby. Make Coach proud with that one. Ball there. Holy. Sounds like 40 feet in the air, bro. All right. Yeah. The ball there, Sam. All right. Ball there, me. Yep, going. Yep, there you go. There, George. Go. Good ball. There you go, Josh. All right, fella. All four good balls there. It's gonna be another fun hole to watch. All guys with solid drives on this 440 yard par four. Straight away, downwind. George up here first. He likes it, he's looking at it, as he should. Nice shot. Great shot there, George. Gives himself a seven footer, eight footer for birdie. Up next we got Josh. Might be the fastest golfer I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. oh. Great shots. Two phenomenal shots there. These guys know what they're doing, man. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This looks so good. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> These guys have all kind of found their stride as we made the turn. Let's see if Sam can do the same. Follow suit. Sit. 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 Okay. That's fine. That's the thing though, you're inside 100 yards, those are the mistakes you just gotta eliminate. Yeah, I agree. You, you, you gotta at least be giving yourself a birdie putt from there. It's all good though, he went right over the top of the pin. I think he, he's getting to a point in his round where he just wants to play aggressive, really go after everything, which is what we love to see. That's what the people love to see. Let's get up there, see if they make some putts. Ball. Swing there. Thank you. You guys mind if I go? Okay. Same I am over here is honestly still got a pretty solid look at Birdie, in my opinion. He's still gonna be putting it just off the green. Yeah, it's not terrible. No, it's definitely not. I mean, if he was in the bunker, you could be you could definitely be working with something pretty interesting, so. Let's see if you can't rack in a birdie here. Get to the hole, get to the hole. It's a great good putt. Pot. All right, y'all, Josh up here. Really good looking birdie. Yeah. Him and George both have a very similar putt. That's a sure. in or no? Yeah. George is standing back there paying very close attention to this one. Oh, it just sneaks left. That's a good par there by Josh. Josh. After a read like that, you, 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 you got to assume George is going to make this putt. He got a perfect read. It looks like it moves a little left. Yeah, I think it's going to be just outside right. Yep. Oh, I 
thought he walked it in. Just snuck by on that low side. Now we have Cameron to just really clean up for the tap and he's about a foot away. This would be huge, man. Cameron's got such a great round for him. It's playing wonderfully. Great, great birdie. Cameron is on fire. Is that taking him to five under? Yeah. Takes him to five under, which from my last knowledge puts him one shot back to Sean. Now George here just clean up for his par, and then we carry on to a short par three. short pretty solid shot he's gonna have a nice birdie look David just a moment ago 144 yards with a pitching wedge uphill lie that thing almost hit this that thing had there's no clouds in the sky but if there were it probably would have touched them and Sean just now from 122 yards hitting a 50 degree looks like another very solid golf shot it's good to get Sean off the bogey train hopefully Trevor is probably 50 yards up there he's probably got about 100 yards in this left pin. He's gotta be looking for he's gotta be looking for a close approach shot here. It's in the green light zone. Looking pretty good. A little left of the hole. It should be really nice. Another good shot. Yeah, three good looks up there and David's about 30 feet to the right. Well, looks like David will probably be going first. He played a smart smart shot there. Off the upslope in the rough, just getting it in the middle of the green, getting it on the green, and giving himself a look. That's some pretty good distance control out of that rough, too. Wow, what was that? Trevor, can I get you a couple that way? Yeah. Thank you. Well, David did not have his best effort there. Left it about five feet short. Shot from just off the green here. 122 yards out, I hit a 50 degree. I think this shot might have been downwind as well. Might have caught that 50 just a little too good. Came out clean. Maybe a little too clean. Wow, that is renting past the hole. He's gonna be left here with about a seven footer to not make back-to-back -back bogeys. Every really good round you play, you're gonna have one of those stretches where just feels like things aren't going your way, but typically there's gonna be one shot that pulls you out of it, and for Sean, it could be this par putt. Gets momentum back. Hopefully get back on the birdie train. Next hole's a short par three. It'd be a really good opportunity for him. What? What? That's a great putt there by Trevor. About a 20 footer down the hill. Saying he got probably a pretty good read off Sean, but a great putt for birdie. He's even though he's had his woes with his ball striking here and there on this round, he's still managing to get a good round out of it so far. That looked like it was gonna fall for a long, long time. This does, this feels like a course where when you see putts like that not fall, it can kind of feel like you're slipping backwards, but. Even on a birdie fest like this, patience is very, very important. Now Sean's seven feet to save his par. Big shout out to Trevor, by the way. That guy has been maximizing his round like none other. Three under par with how he's been hitting it is phenomenal golf. Oh, man, you hate to see that. Sean slips back to four under par. Now Trevor's only one stroke back. Trevor, by the way, uh, like a lot of pros that live here in Scottsdale, caddies in the mean caddies in between rounds to try to make a little bit of extra money. I don't know what club he caddies at. I don't know how much it is per round, but 
I think $50,000 is worth at least 200 loops at whatever golf course he's at. Blaine's looking pretty confident with his, with his D-stick right now. It's, it's pretty impressive. Well, it's a nice tee shot again. Hunter really has been really nice off the tee today, I think. I think you're right. What's that? Hunter, he's been, he's been really nice off the tee, like yeah, you Hunter. said. Nice. Oh, That's yeah. sick. Linus with a little bleeder. That was cool. Yeah, a little pull cut. I was like a quan ball fan. Yeah, big fan of that. I know you like that. <laughs> Got me a little excited. Mm. Shot by Mark. Very nice. Come on, Mark. I want to see a good, solid comeback right here. Strong back nine for him, hopefully. It's going to happen. Here we go. We got the precision pro range final. Let's get a look here. 127 for Blaine. I need to go. Gotta go. Run. Big bounce, big bounce. Yeah, that kind of worked out for him. That I did. Think. That looks probably slightly short still, but definitely helped with the big bounce there. Oh, Linus looks like he hit a pretty solid one here. Oh. It's tough to get a, get the ball back there, I feel like. It's just a scary pen. Yeah, it's only eight from the back, so definitely wanna, don't want to challenge it too much, but trying to shove the ball back there as much as you can. Baldwin looks like that ball's going a little further. There we that go. That looks nice. There we go. That go looks in. real nice. Nice shot. shot Mark. Mm, Hunter's going slightly right, but it should be... Oh, it's... Pretty good, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty decent. This pin is way less back than we thought. We thought Mark was like tap in range, but he's he's the furthest. And we thought, not Blaine was well short, but he's like 12 feet. Yeah, this is birdie putt right here, going up the hill. Should break slightly to the right, right in the middle. Never even left the hole. That ball didn't even think about missing. Good putt. Downhill, stay up, stay up, ball. Just slow. Dang it, man. We got a par three on the next hole and a par five on that after that, so I'm hoping Mark can kind of catch a little bit of fire here coming into the last few holes. Come on. Oh, man, that was right in the heart. Left it in the jaws. Oh, man. It's all right. Par's fine. It's a good par. I know he was wanting that birdie though. I had, had it read right. Hunter's birdie putt right there, right in the middle. Well done. Good putt there, Hunter. Nice. Was that to get him to like two or two on it? I think. Yeah. All right, well, Cameron Sisk seems to still be leading, or he seems to be leading. I think he got the lead. Sisk is five under. Sean Walsh is four under. Blaine Hale is four under. Trevor Ul Trevor Ulstead Ulstad, he's three under. Hunter Reed and Linus are two under. Sit a bit, sit a bit. And Maeve's just trundled on through, but that's still a great leave. I think this hole has got to be playing probably about 160, 170 yards. Downwind, iron. Called it, match is set 167 yeah. yards downwind. Yeah, that's a very gettable pin from that yardage, that's for sure. Yeah, Cameron really likes it. He's eyeing it. Yes, he oh! oh. Great shot, Sam. Yeah. He, he 
he's been giving himself looks all day. Yeah, he's just got to get some to fall, and he's, he's, gotta, he's in it. Exactly, he's got to get those putts to fall. Just hit. Oh, he's holding it. He likes it. There it is. Great shot. Great shots Stay here. in the green form. Oh, just trickled off the back edge of the green. This is a 167-yard hole, and all those balls, this direction-wise, are within seven yards of each other. Mm -hmm. There's not one over here, one over there. Yeah, like us. <laughs> They're all, like, literally... Within a, They're all playing the same yeah. shot. They're airing on the long side. They know that there's a little bit of a dip here if they miss, and it kind of funnels in here. So they, they know the course. They know the course management and where they need to land it to have them give themselves the best chance for birdie. And that's just the difference, again, between you know professionals and amateurs. They just know exactly where to miss, and that's why they're you know, 400, 200 bar right now. So. Stay out, stay out. See that? Look at that. They all, they all did the same thing. That's yeah, just gotta be such a tough green to hold. Cause those are four phenomenal golf shots. Only one found the green. Yeah. Good looks a birdie though. Good looks a birdie. Hold your head there. Hold your head. Hit there. Great putt. Putt. Wow. Great These guys just don't miss putts by a lot, bro. It, 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 it's obviously, it, it's super fun to watch them drive the ball, watch them hit the long irons, but the most amazing part of it all is the putter. It's just so much fun to watch how good they are with the flat stick. Bumped it. It did. I think he would have made that. Yeah, it's Bumped a good him a little left. Good putt, though. Good part of the cam. Now we got George up here, like, just barely off the green. He actually is a really good looking birdie here. Really good look looking down at the hole. He's gotta feel confident over this putt. Gotta feel confident over this putt. Gotta feel confident. George, great putt. Nice putt, George. George. Here we go. There you go, brother. Dang, that thing just slid right in the back Dude. here. That's a nice feeling when you, know, when you stand up over a putt and you're looking down at the hole. But it's not too steep of a hill, just a slight downgrade. Wow, great putt, George. He needed that. That puts him in the red now. It gets him to one under. Super one under. Oh. Sam has just been blazing edges all day. Tapping par. He stays at one under. Yeah. Sam stays at one under. George stays at one under. Josh stays at even. And Cam is at. Five. Next, we have Blaine out of OU at three under. It is a shootout here in Scottsdale, Arizona at the Good Good Championship. Hundred and fifty yard shot, roughly. Balls in the air. That is a very good shot, to about seven, eight feet. Old Trevor, man. You know, he's just been grinding away, hanging in there, making some birds when he can. Now he's got a chance to get a birdie and get a four under here, heading into a couple par fives on the back. Cannot see that ball at all. Wow, go in, go in, go in. My gosh, I thought he just jarred it. Oh, that would have been unbelievable. I would have taken my damn shirt off, Luis. Yeah, I would have. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. Looking pretty good as well. Jeez. All right. David hits it to about eight feet, probably. He was surrounding the hole. Now, Sean. This is an important hole for him. Two bogeys in a row. It's tough. Whenever you got a good round going, it's tough not to kind of get thinking about it. And had a couple of miscues that he hasn't been making early in the round, so big hole. If you can make a birdie here right before this par five, that is very reachable. Work. Uh. Look at that grouping, boys. Sean, it's a good shot. It's not good considering 
the other three guys that hit, but compared to everyone else, it's a very good shot to about 20 feet. Sean's put a pretty good roll on this one. Looks like legs, 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 legs. Oh, what a, a good line. Got a foot short right now. I don't know about you, Brad, but I'm already excited for the finishing stretch tomorrow. Par five, reachable par four. Par five, bogey bull par three. It's gonna be a lot of fireworks coming down the stretch. Oh, Trevor. I mean, talk about he's grinding around. This, now. He is just grinding his face off around here. Josh, another one just slips right by the hole. You gotta be feeling like Josh has left a lot of strokes out here today, right, Brad? Yeah, for sure. I feel like he's playing well enough to be about four or five under and not quite making the putts he needs to be able to be four or five under, but he's playing well. Well, could be that one. Yeah, yeah. Get a little left, get a little left, get a little left. Ground spin. Yeah, That's good ball. Good. Shot. Try to hold him. Mm. Slightly long, slightly left. Should be fine though. Nothing treacherous there. Just not the not the inside ten feet birdie look that he's looking for. Blaine's lost it out to the right. Might have healed it a little bit. Get over the bunker, get over the bunker. That's fine. It's all right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stay right there. <coughs> Sit. Oh, it just went right over the flag a little long. Gary, what Dang. Do you think of with the infamous left hand low chipping motion. Looks pretty decent, maybe a little short. Yeah, just nestled it up to three feet. Should be uh, should be another little ho-hum par. Well, I guess I shouldn't say another. He hasn't had a par in a while. Had five birdies in a row, but we got a par five coming up. He should tap that in. Should be all good. Venus, putting from the fringe, more like the first cut. Oh, I thought I was gonna go in. Just slightly right of the hole. So still got a little bit, still got a little bit of chicken out there, but should be no problems with two feet, two and a half feet. Whoa. I thought that, I thought that was gonna move way more right, just like Mark did, but man, it was a little firm and it was a little bit too far left. There is a three-way tie at second at four under right now. Sean Walsh. Trevor Ulistad, Blaine Hill, George Markham. He's in fifth. Oh, just kidding. I think he's got it. Oh, oh. stay up, Paul. Oh, dang. Oh, whoa, dude, jeez. Kind of ramming these putts by a little bit. Got a little bit of. Everyone's got look left. Some knockers on mm -hmm. him. There's a hole, that's a par. Flipped it in. Does not matter how you do that's it. Par.
So good, good ball. ball, Josh. Room left. Remember this one. Sam's in, I, I think he's in an okay, I think he has a hybrid, so I think he's actually going to be able to get it up high enough to get himself over these trees. I think he's going to be just left of the green. Josh, it's a good ball right at the middle left portion of the green. Yep. I do believe Josh is the only one on the green as of this moment. Okay, Pretty interesting safe, there. You're missing right here where the pin is. You know you're short-sighted. That's such a touchy shot you got there, but that chip up there, it's still pretty makeable look at birdie. Should definitely plan on him getting that up and down. Now we got Sam over here. He missed a little further left than he was hoping in the desert. Straightforward shot, though. Don't know how he's going to play this, though. He's probably going to play it low and try and catch it clean. Oh, he's done just that. That's gonna be beautiful. That's gotta spin on it. Oh. Shot, Murph. Settle. Yeah, that's a really good shot from over there. Gives himself a look at birdie. All right, up next we got George. You just, if, you, if you're gonna miss here, he put himself in the perfect position. Miss there, short left. Got all the green in the world to work with on this chip shot. And anything inside five feet here, you should be happy with that. And then you have Josh, who just played this hole to a tee. He's got probably about 25, 30 feet left there for his eagle. Two putts, make a birdie, get out of here. He's gonna like this a lot. He's gonna like this a lot. Oh. Wow. I did not see that much slope there. That ball just kept rolling. Also, like we feel like we talked about earlier, getting late in the day. These greens are just drying out. Definitely probably gaining about a foot of pace. Way to bounce back there by Cameron. I'm sure he's not happy after that drive with the par, but. Walking out here with a par, that's fine. Keeps the mojo rolling, so there's a very solid round of golf going. Definitely gonna be in the mix tomorrow. All right, Josh here with, I was mistaken. It's a lot more than 25, 30 feet. This is probably more like a 40, 45 foot putt. It's probably gonna be pretty slick watching that chip and Sam shot from the desert running down past the hole. He gets us down there inside two feet. I'll be very happy with that. Gotta get legs. Gotta get legs a little bit. Wow. <laughs> Golfers like me, I'd be very happy with that effort. I'm sure you wanted a bit more out of it.
There you go, Sam. <laughs> There's a lot of ways to get to a birdie. That's a great birdie there by him. Get the mojo rolling a little bit, carry on. If he makes something happen in these last four holes, he's right there in the mix. Going to be teeing off later tomorrow. Nice great pot, pot, George. Great pot. Great this bird. thing, like we alluded to on the front nine, you, you can really get on a roll on this course. You said Blaine just railed off five in a row? Yeah. Wow. One, two, three, four, five in a row. Wow. That's the thing, all these guys are so good, any of them can do that. Mm -hmm. So slick past that hole, bro. And he hit such a great eagle putt. So slick past that hole. All right, Josh here still has what seems to be four to five feet to clean up for his par. That's huge. Great putt. Huge. All right, Cam here with what looks to be like maybe a foot, foot and a half clean up for his par. These boys played this hole in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. A lot of different ways. Still a lot of golf left to be played here at the Good Good Championship at Western Carolina, presented by Golf Galaxy. Things are heating up. Birdie streaks are coming. And I, I'm telling you, tomorrow's going to come down to the wire. I would not be surprised the way these guys are playing if we have a complete shootout come down the stretch. Let's get to it. I don't think he's looking at the flag number when he decides this club. I think he's looking at the middle of the green. In the middle of the green is probably more like, if I had to put a number on it, probably like 280. So I think three woods probably. Sean with about 258, decided to go with the five wood. I was wrong. I thought he was gonna take three wood and try to hit it to the middle of the green, but going after the flag, I love this play from Sean. That's delicious. Sounds like it's a little bit, a little bit clunky. David Kim here with a, about 235, if I had to put a number on it, I'd say about 235 to the flag. Yeah, about 235 for David here. It looks like he's swinging a hybrid of some sorts. Right side of the green, I saw it land just right, right side of the green, bouncing right. If I remember correctly, that's not a very difficult up and down, so long as he didn't go down that slope to the right of the green. It doesn't matter. Okay, all right, if you're ready. All right, I'll go. go. I'll go. Show me What Never a great did. bunker shot here. Just needs to sit a little bit. Need to get that up a little bit higher to get it to stop. That thing came out just kind of low and trundly. And again, man, Sean plays quick, man. And he hits it to about, sit. right about six sit feet, down. six, seven feet. That thing trickled out for a minute and a yeah. half. Yeah, six, seven. Six, six, seven feet. No, it looks like. Game should have an easy up and down for this position. Yeah. This might be, it's a pretty chip in a bowl right here. Dr. Chipinski might be looking to make a house call here in a second. Mm -hmm. Chippin' Eagle. David Kim with a really solid round go. Is that four under now? Yeah, we're gonna a lot of movement at the at the top, like this group, I gotta say, after the front nine, I was not expecting them to be tied through 13. Hey, I'm just gonna say I called that one. Very chipinable chip. Now Josh has 
about a probably a 60 footer for Eagle. He got a, he had to have gotten a pretty good read from Sean's chip, especially at the end of the at the last six seven feet or so. It's gonna be pretty quick the whole way, breaking hard right to left at the end. And that's gonna be short and very low chip there, but. He's gonna have a good eight feet left for, for his birdie. Not very happy with that. And Trevor. Trevor with an excellent birdie. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so hyped for this guy right now. He's just a grinder, man. Five under par, and I gotta say, if, if you put me in his positions off the tee and after his approach shots, I think I might be over. I might be yeah. over par. He's, he's a grinder. Unbelievable guts on this guy. Yeah, he's getting every shot he can out of this round. And Josh for his two putt birdie. And done, man, three putt par. That's a three words you do not like to say. Cleaned it up though. Sean lets another one go there. That man. After that shot he hit, the second shot he hit on this hole, I thought he was a shoe in for birdie, maybe even eagle, and walking away with a par five there. That that hurts. That hurts. Hmm. On to the next. Linus, I thought his was gonna leak a little bit more. Thankfully, Linus just stopped short of the short of the gunch, the the stuff on the right. Mark's in a solid spot. Everyone seems to be in good spots to get this up and down. So I think we're it, it's safe to say we're probably gonna see some birdies on this hole. All right, Blaine with the left hand low chip. That should settle, mm -hmm. settle, settle, mm -hmm. settle, settle, <clears throat> settle, settle, settle. Dang, that thing was trickling for a minute. I thought he made it. Oh man, he's got about seven, six, seven feet for his comebacker for birdie, but I think he's been putting pretty nice. I think he'll make that thing. Trevor Olestad and Let's Cameron Sis. Settle, 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 settle. Oh, that's sitting. Whoa. Golly, he's got also six feet as well. Trevor Olestad. And Cameron Sisk are tied at five under par. Sean Walsh, 
four under. Lots of four unders right now. That should be nice there, Mark. Yeah. Settle right there. Go in. Go in. The hole. Go in. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. He's burnt so many lips today. God, I want to see one fall, Mark. Make the hole bigger for that man. Literally, he, he deserves a bigger hole goodness. at this point. All right, big putt for Blaine here. Up the hill, birdie look. If you're wondering why I've been on my phone all day, it's because of the leaderboard and entering scores. You're on Instagram. No. <laughs> oh, Blaine just missed his birdie putt. Dang, man. That par five is such a good one, too. The birdie. That's to stay at three? No, four. four. Oh. Dang. That's two barely missed putts on the last two holes. Copyright. That's a slider. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Is that for his birdie? Yeah, it was for his birdie, and now he's got longer for par. So Blaine made par, Hunter made par. This is for his par. When the sun goes down on my side of town. Okay. All right, well. In for five. It's gotta feel like a bogey though with this par five, unfortunately. Still <sighs> Mark really needs this one in a bad way. There we go. Got okay. a bird. Mark there it is. Bird. There it is. Mark with a birdie. Gets him back to even par. Honestly, if if the leader's at five under after today, even par is still kind of in striking distance. All right. Next hole. 190 yard par three. Get in, 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 Just missing short right. Again, they're missing at such good spots though. Mm -hmm. That's about as straightforward of a chip as you'll get. Oh, I think he lost it to the right. Yeah. Yep. Good spot to leave it though. Not a bad spot. Straightforward chip. How about George though? George really showing up here. Similar position, definitely got a good read off that. Yeah, I did. See, it's not as uphill as you think. I kind of got under yeah. it a little bit. Good shot, Cam. Right on line. Three feet more pace. I'm walking out here with the birdie. Sam up here next. Honestly, I mean, might have not had the right club there. Could have used one more, but still, you have a beautiful birdie putt. Mm -hmm. Right back up the hill. A little left to right. He, he, late in the day, he's thinking about making this. Yeah. He's also been very aggressive with his ball today, mm -hmm. so I think he's going to give this one a run. Yeah. Oh, he's a little short. Wow. I did not see that much in it. It's about the same, almost the same putt that he just had. 
That's a brutal pen, bro. Cam there with a good par. Very nice up and down. Now I think George is gonna step up here, clean up for his birdie. Good Great birdie, birdie, George. Wow. Holy crap, bro. He's found his rhythm. Was on. Good par, Sam. Sam. Josh said to clean up for his bogey. There yeah, you go. Lots of freaking good golf coming in, man. Lots of good golf. I believe there's one more par five, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's an eagleable par five. It's an eagle, eagleable one, so. Is this a drivable par four? And there is a drivable par four as well, which Next I believe, hole. yeah, which I believe Sam put it on the green um, for his qualifier, and I believe he made birdie. So I think they're gonna get pretty aggressive here coming down the stretch. seen one drop all day. This would be a good place to start though. That needs to hustle. And just short, about a foot and a half. He'll tap that in for his par. I think a pretty common sentiment around among pros is there's no such thing as a bad par on a par three. There might be a disappointing par. Never a bad par on a par three. Sean needs a spark. Front nine was in fuego, but this back nine has been ice cold. We need something to get the heat back up. He likes it. Oh. Looks like he just caught the high side. A little bit aggressive on the speed. He's got about three and a half feet coming back. Just hasn't quite been as flawless as he was on the front nine. Trevor hits another one close on this par three, 180 yards. He had an eight iron here. It looked what looks like about 12 feet up the hill, left to right. Breaking away from him, that might be tough, but I still like his chances of knocking this in. He touched the lip. Mmm. Sean, this is an absolute must make. This is to remain at two over par for the backside, 400 total on the tournament. He's still just one shot back of the lead, but if he keeps slipping backwards, it's gonna be tough for him to get his footing. Yep, uh, that was important. Very important. I know it's only, it's only the. 15th hole of the first round, but that felt like a big putt right there. Josh, a little two and a half foot cleanup. And in safely for par, we got one more here, Mr. David Kim. And Trevor's got that. Oh, Tre I forgot Trevor didn't hold out. Good putt, good three there. Good to save par after an eagle. You hate to give one back after getting so fortunate on that chip shot in the last hole. Great putt there from Trevor. Man, after that bogey on 11, really sloppy bogey on 11, but since then, birdie, birdie, par. Now heading into a drivable par four. Big opportunity here. They all got out of there, got out of there with par, right? We decided to go up to the green so we can use our voices now 
Um, I don't know why we didn't think of something like this before. Yeah, we weren't really thinking. Because <laughs> we've been having a whisper because we're standing by the guys the entire time. Mark is going first here, obviously with a birdie on the last. This is a downwind par three downhill, easy pin location. Could see yeah. a hole in one. Yeah. I don't know. Can't tell. I'm just looking at his body language. Looks from good. Here. Looks oh, really that good. Looks nice. Settle. Wow. Nice. Pin high just left. Good solid look for a little two. A little deuce action. Alright, Hunter here. Mr. Eight Under. I can't see the ball even starting from here. Usually I get a decent idea of it. Okay. Mm. All right, settles. Two good shots A little there. bit long, but it's all good. It's like 20 feet for birdie. Solid look. That's, a, that's probably a tough shot to kind of gauge there. Downhill, downwind in the Arizona here. <clears throat> not much. Oh, there we go. Go a little. Yeah. Nice. That's Leanness. That, that's probably going up and down the flag stick. I think this is Blaine's time because he hasn't hit very many good mid irons or long irons today. They've been kind of squirting on him a little bit to the right. He's gonna hit one tight here. I think he's gonna hit one tight. Mm. I think now is his time. Go in the hole. Oh, he lost it right. Catch piece. Mm. Okay. I mean, he's still putting just That's from fine. just on the fringe. I like that he's got a one-way miss though. It's always nice. It's playable. Mm -hmm. High and right is better than low and left. All right, we got Blaine here from, again, just, just off the green. He's still gonna putt it. <sighs> Looks like a pretty straight putt. If anything, it might break a little right to left, but this would be a bonus to make this one. Come on. Oh. Just missed on the left side, just slightly low. That was a good putt, good, good effort there. Good par, good par. Alrighty, Hunter here for his birdie putt, going slightly down the hill. I want to say it's going slightly left to right. Not a whole lot though, I think. Get up there, get up there, get up there, go! Holy, that dude was trying to stretch for a while. I mean, half a rotation, that's it. Yeah, gosh dang, I think we're, we're going to have to see that. <laughs> Good part. Wow, he just went up there and tapped it. Alrighty. Linus is putt here, going a little bit up the hill. To the right. Yeah, probably going a little bit right. Get up ah. there. That's a par. Should be three pars guaranteed and... <sighs> yeah. Putting is hard, man. Maybe Best Mark will knock it in for Barry. Down the hill, come on. Dude, he oh, burned so many yeah. edges there, man. Such a bummer. Just missed it a little bit low there. Dang it. That's gonna be another par from Mark there. Hopefully, he can get something on the next hole. Four pars, three holes remain. If Mark finishes strong, everyone is in striking distance for day two in this group. At the very least. I mean, Blaine could, in theory, be leading after day one if he has a good finish here. Kick down that slope. Oh! Wow. Oh! He caught like a little speed slot there on the right side and just boomeranged its way around up there, just right at the green. I mean, Sam's stepping up with the driver here. I'm assuming he's got to be playing a high fade. That draw, I think, would be too much club for him. Hold your line. Right there. Big high fade, the leaking towards the right side of the green. Stayed up there right by the step. It's fine. It's fine.
Oh, he's over. They both scooted on through. See if you're gonna miss, miss left on this hole. You got everything to the left. All of them in good spots, right up there by the green. Yeah. Should be seeing some birdies this hole. Here we go. Downwind, everything's running away from him. Wow. That's just such a tough shot. Such a tough shot. Cam is about three yards further up the hill. Let's see how he handles this. It's just harder to do any better than those two right there. Downwind if they're running away from you. Big advantage to the guys who missed right in the green here. This looks really good. This looks really good. This looks really good. George? Oh my gosh. Great shot. Holy frick, I thought that was going in. George is finding his stride, brother. Four birdies in a row for the young man. Well, he's older than us. Four birdies in a row for George. <laughs> that is phenomenal play by George. A young man. Well, a man who didn't really have the best start either. He started with bogey. You know, he was, he was struggling. He was making some really tough up and down pars, and, and just somehow on the back nine, just really found his stroke and hit some really solid shots, made some really good birdies. And now he's on a roll. That's just that's what I love about golf. That's the beauty of the game, right there. You can have a really really bad start and somehow come back. And now being contention in this tournament is it's phenomenal. par there for Sam. Alright, on the hole 17. A par 3 we have seen a hole in one on. Let's see if we can make some magic happen again. They moved the tee up a little bit to make sure this hole is drivable today. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess Ben has the yardage. Ben does have the yardage. It's 308 yards to the pin here, but as you can see, that pin is up in the back. Front edge of the green is probably more like 295, 290. Yeah, flat. so it's very drivable today. Wow. That's a fascinating decision from Trevor here. It doesn't really feel like there's that much around the green here. I mean, the only place you wouldn't want to go is long. Well, now he's left himself in a very interesting spot. Josh going for it. Starts left. Let's see if it's fading back. Oh, he swung to like it. That's a big old club twirl. And that's Ooh. just in the back bunker. That's that going to be really hard. That is going to be a dicey up and down. Uh, one spot you don't want to go is long here. Y'all probably don't go go long. You know the best spot to be is probably the green or right over on that corner left. Best spot to be is in the hole. <laughs> No, nah, it's not the best. Starting That's left. Left and staying left. Oh. He doesn't like it. Okay, front bunker. As long as it's not plugged, that's not a very impossible up and down. I'd rather be yeah. in the front bunker than the back. You're sure. Correct. You are, yes, that's a good instinct to have. Thank you. Down. 
Oh man, that is just not what you want to do there, Trevor. That is a tough shot from that yardage. That's that's why I keep saying, if you're gonna lay up, lay up. You know what I mean? Leave yourself 100 yards, that's a very easy golf shot. You leave yourself 60, now it's a lot touchier. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. That's a good what a shot. golf shot right there. That might have been what he needed there, folks. That's the motor that you need to kick right in right about now. <laughs> Get himself back to five under, maybe birdie the 18th. Get back to even on this side, six under for the day. You know, with the rough stretch that he went through, I think he would take a 65 right about now. First, he's gotta knock this putt in. But before that, Mr. David Kim has a very straightforward pitch. I wouldn't be surprised if this scared the hole. It. Oh! Once again, he's just been dangerous with those wedges, dude. Holy crap. He can chip his golf ball. He can chip his golf ball. Oh my God. Wow. Josh opened up the oh. face, took a hack at this. That was spin, though. And not a lot of spin, no. Where'd Colin go? Behind you. Jump somewhere else. Oh, he's up there. This is going to be one slippery putt. Trevor's got his work cut out for him here. And I bet you if you pulled him aside and said, I'll give you a par right now, there's a chance he would take it. Barely hits it. A lot of speed on that putt, but wow, what good touch. That is phenomenal effort from there. Leaving himself with a, you know, I don't want to call it a gimme, but a, a theoretical gimme for par after having that that look at birdie is not something to thumb your nose at. Back up the hill, and he gets oh, one to what? fall. Oh, my Lord. Excellent, excellent putt there. from Josh there. He needed that one. Had such a hard time with the putter all day. Finally gets one to drop, who knows. I know it's late in the round, but we got a whole other 18 holes tomorrow, and that might be the one that gives him confidence. And just hits it a little bit too hard. Went from having everything going his way to nothing. Davis got a really ticklish one here. If, it's just, if he gives us some pace, if he tries to make this and it doesn't go in, he might have himself a lengthy one coming back. <laughs> Especially with how simple of a pitch he had earlier. If this doesn't go in, it's going to feel pretty disappointing walking off this green. That putt, as far as four and a half, five footers go, that was a high grade of difficulty. Oh, that could have just been our angle, but that looked like it barely snuck in the high side. Whatever, par's a par, on the next. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, it's actually a solid spot on it. Really good spot to chip from there. I think that's going right up the hill. I don't even think it's really breaking all Yeah. Just left of the green, that should be or could be a birdie for Mark. Are we in danger here? No. Way left. Left there too, unless it's cutting back. I think this is Hunter. Yeah, oh boy. I hope that didn't plug. That is no bueno over there. Regardless, that's uh, pretty close to being the hardest shot in golf, I think. Yeah, probably 35 yards or what? Yeah. Going a little left, maybe cutting back. Oh. Yep. oh what? On a down slope. Where did the ball go? <laughs> Just nestled right in. Dude, that is not a good lie there. Oh, I think that's going to be pretty tough there. Get left. Get left. Looks like it's quite a bit left, actually. 
Oh, missed all the bunkers. Settle. I think it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's laughing. Well, taking a look at Blaine's ball here and uh, yeah, I'm definitely right. I was, uh, he's gonna have to contend with that fringe. It's gonna kick it hard to the right and probably forward. Can't really make, get a whole lot of spin if you're landing on the fringe like that. So, tough shot here for Blaine. I mean, that's honestly better than trying to work off the fringe. It's a good shot. Yeah. Oh, that's actually well done there. Roll. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's very well shot. done. Very good. Really good. That's really good. A little chunk and run. Yeah, nice. Maybe an old plug. Yeah. Or uh, main. Yeah. That's so weird. It's. It might, might, you can't like do like a. That's. Uh, I don't know. It feels like a steak or something was in here. I don't know what was in there. Like I don't think that's a ball mark to be honest. Uh, so, some sort of steak must have been. Here. I don't know, but I don't feel a sprinkler head or like no, a pop-up no, no, or no, anything 100%. like that. No, so, no, there's not. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to say is just have to play it as it lies. Okay. Yeah, like that. Now try placing it down in there. That's okay. probably more like it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. You just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I appreciate well, it. thanks for checking. Thank you. Well done. That's honestly That's really good. better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be well done. the first cut. That's pretty good. Chip. Yeah. I think he kind of got away with that one, honestly. Alright, Blaine for his birdie look. Should be going a little right to left. Stay up all day. A little short, a little low. Tough spot where he was from though. I mean, did a good job honestly to have like a 20 foot putt for birdie. You're right, you're right. Linus is a uh, birdie putt after getting kind of unlucky there off this tee shot. Should be going a decent amount left to right, I think. Kind of snappy. Get in there, get in there. Oh my god. What the? That was dirty. My goodness. I thought he made that 100%. That was really good. Dang. There you go, good well, bird. Gets him back to the red figures here. I mean, I know he's not, he's not trying to get himself out of it mentally, but he's gotta stay in it mentally just to give himself a good solid finish and Head into tomorrow with a decent look. I mean, I know he struggled kind of in the middle part of this round, but it happens, and just gotta kind of forget it and just new day tomorrow. Try to go after it. Well done. Good up and down. It's really good up and down from that bunker, honestly. Very good. Very good. I, thought was, I thought it was a pretty hard shot, in my opinion. Two holes remain. Holy frick, George, brother, relax. Save some for everybody. Bro, yeah, we, George almost made another one. Yeah. And that's part three. Dude, George has just found something, like I said. He has just found something that's back nine. And from a guy who had, you know, a rough start, he did start with a bogey, and you know, he was having some, some tough up and down pars. Mm -hmm. He's had the craziest up and down par today, and a guy who just, oh, that was a pretty solid shot. Is that Sam? Yeah. Yeah. He's kind of had a tough, you know, start, he just found something on the back nine and he's, you know, he's just birdie after birdie after mm -hmm. birdie. So that could put him at five under right there and tie the leaders, which would be absolutely wow. insane. After a lead off bogey. Yeah. There's another one coming in. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, it did. Oh yeah, good great shot. shot. Really good birdie look there.
go, 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 go. Oh go, my go. gosh, this could be so. Oh. oh my, that is unlucky. It's not a bad leave. Very oh. straightforward chip. You yeah. can maybe even Texas wedge that. That was a yard from being perfect. Just being like one foot. This is one of the more brutal pin positions we've seen today. Mm -hmm. It's got to be four paces on. With how hard the greens are now, too. Oh my gosh, he might have just made it. Oh wow. my gosh, these guys get swallows on every butt. Wow. That's a phenomenal putt by Cam there. Oh, it did, it did, it did. Oh. Good putt, Josh. Good putt, Josh. Damn. Got a tap in par there for Sam. Cleans up there for his par. All pars by group one here. On to 18. There's an eagle out there. Mm -hmm. On to 18. Yeah, no balls on the green here. You got one ball, not really sure who it is yet. It's just short left, very chip inable. And I'm guessing all the other ones are in the bunkers. And that line oh, must have been just, terrible. Man, it sounded like there was no sand in that bunker. Yeah. Barely got it out. Now he's got a pretty awkward chip shot. Yeah, pretty lucky he got out of the bunker though. After very, being... very fortunate, yes, to yeah. have stayed out of the bunker. This line's good. This shouldn't be outside six, seven feet. Yeah, he get might have made it. He might get have made it. He might have made it. He made wow. it. Wow. Sean, what a shot. <laughs> What a shot scene. He has needed something like that all back nine. He finally got it. You know, when the putter doesn't work, use the six. The leaderboard is getting crowded at the top, heading to the end of this first round. Such a good tournament. These boys are, they're fighting. Oh, that's a really good wow, shot. Wow, what a golf shot. Wow. Oh. Great, well done. That's a wow. great shot. <laughs> Short game display on this hole. Holy smokes. Oh! Dude, these bunker shots are insane. David's trying to figure out whether he wants to hit Texas Wedge or a chip. I Texas think he's wedge. gone with the Texas Wedge. I don't mind it. It's kind of, even though it's a short chip, it's kind of the awkward position. You have to carry it pretty far to land it on the green or just land it just short. It's all about how the ball rolls to that first half. Good line, no. Actually, it was a pretty good line. It just didn't didn't hit it hard enough. Yep. 
par there from David. Wow. That looked like a pretty simple up and down, but it was not. That, that had some, there's some possibility to mess that up. Great shot. Wow. Shot, Mark. There we go, Mark. Come on. Yeah, I hit that little divot. I think it was going to be pretty good if it didn't hit that. I think that's going to be money. Still not bad, though. I think that's still better than what a chip would be, so well played. Yeah, I thought looking down from the tee box, you would have more green, but mm. that's, like you said, that's just, these greens are not very receptive. All right, big booty Blaine putting from kind of, I don't know, distance-wise, he's like in the middle of the green, but from the right side of the green. Should be breaking right to left. I think it might be a little bit quick. I think so. I think you're right on that. You think he likes it? Stay up, stay up, this stay looks up. Solid. Stay up. Oh my gosh. It's good what speed. A lag. Yeah, it's good speed. Let's get him to two. And that could potentially mean he goes two birdies to finish. Well, three birdies to finish. Three. Could even eagle the last. It's a very nice pin location today. Looks pretty good. Get left, get left. Oh, just needed to go goodness. in the heart. That was in the heart, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Damn. Dang. Well, he's got to take advantage of the last hole. Yep. Got to stay in it. Probably got to make eagle on, so. a big putt here for Hunter. Mm. Just to keep him at three under par right now. It'd be a good solid par save. Mm -hmm. Come on. Drop this thing. Drop it low for me. Nice. Good putt. Good putt. Dude, that ball, did that, was that like almost running out of speed? I don't know. <laughs> it looked like it was going to miss short for a second. Doesn't matter, whatever. It's in the hole. On to the last. All right, y'all, we've made it up to the 18th and final hole of the day. It is a 520 yard par five. Very gettable, saw a lot of birdies here yesterday and a few eagles here. So there's some really, really good finishing scores that could come out of this hole today. George is gonna start us off, he's been on fire. Let's see if he can keep it rolling. Great drive by George right down the middle of the fairway. And that pins on the front part of the green today. It's very attackable. Just up the right side by Sam there. Might get a good bounce left. And I don't think he got the bounce he wanted there. Great ball there by Cameron. All day, right down the middle, left-hand side. Gonna have a great look into this finishing part five. Now to round off the first group, we have Josh. Again, he makes an eagle here, or a birdie. He needs to really climb his way up there tomorrow. Still 18 holes to play after this one.
those officials able to find Sam's ball, he's literally going to have to baseball swing it out of there. I don't think he's going to take an unplayable. This is honestly... I think you can play it. I think you can play it. This is one of those shots where being an athlete really helps. Yeah. You got to be strong to heck it out of there. Pretty much hitting a baseball. It's going to be like a knee-high pitch he's going to have to swing at. This one looks pretty solid. Get up that bunker. Get up that bunker. Yeah. I think that's button. Shot, there, Cam. Shot Cam. He's got an eagle putt. Another young man in a perfect position. Probably gonna get pretty aggressive and hit this green, hopefully for eagle. Yep, yeah, this one's starting on the green. Stay there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty good shot. Great shot, Josh. Great shot. Another eagle look, man. I'm telling you, the guys are good. I don't know if that got down. All right, George going. He's in a great spot. Go, go, go. Oh, splash down in the bunker. Should be an easy up and down from there. As Sean comes to the tee here, got a fun stat for you guys at home. With that hooped bunker shot, Sean has now made two on three out of the four par threes today. Pretty freaking good. And the cut is just not really cutting. Just hope it dodges the bunkers over there and he'll be in just fine shape. Beautiful closing tee shot here at Weston Kierland. Resort in the background, bunkers, water. Everyone's heading all left so far. Seems to be a bit of a magnet on the left side of this fairway. I really enjoy watching Josh's golf swing. Gets his hips through. Nice. Another four for four left. That is surprising. The way the rule states is you you you're like closest you, you to you go where as you close as possible there. to where yeah. you made your last stroke yeah. and then uh, drop it from knee height. Okay. Now he gets to place it, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Awesome. Unfortunate break there for Sam, but one, two, grab three, drop hitting four, four in there. So he's hitting this for five. Essentially, he can still get up and down for pokey, you know, saying something. All right, y'all, quick rundown of what just happened to Sam there. So he elected to play his ball up on that hill, hit it. It then became a lost ball because we couldn't find it inside the allotted time you have to, when you start searching for your ball. So he's hitting two, has to go back, drop three, hitting four, and then he chipped out. Just hit five under the green. Well, I didn't see where his fifth shot went, but his next shot up near the green will be his sixth shot. Get it up and down. You never know. There's really low scores out here tomorrow. He could battle back and win some more money. If he gets this up and down and makes another birdie, that, that is a finish. That's just a phenomenal finish by him there. Nice shot, George. I mean, if he can clean that up for his birdie, finish, what would that? He would have finished five under the last six. 
that's going to put him in a great spot tomorrow to come out here and potentially win the Good Good Championship presented by Golf Galaxy. All right, y'all, quick update. George is right there with a great birdie putt. Sam has a bogey putt. He had a great shot from the fairway. If he gets out here with a bogey, that's unreal. That's huge. Cameron has about a 30, 35 foot eagle putt, and Josh stuck it. That's what I've been saying the whole time in the 18. If Josh can make an eagle and get in the red numbers, yeah. he can fight his way back and make a good chunk of change. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, there's a little work there. There's a little work there, but that's definitely makeable for that young man today. That's the first putt we've seen all day that even teetered on the edge of getting away from him. Mm -hmm. That's not even getting away from him. That's just a good eagle putt. Yeah. Aggressive, got to the hole, made sure he got it there. Nothing wrong with that. Sam needs this. Yeah, this would be freaking huge. Come on, Sam. Good birdie there, Josh. I mean, you go into tomorrow, though, know, and you play in the 18th hole of yesterday, perfect. Yeah. You played into a team. Cameron is going to clean up for his birdie. Nice putt, Cam. Wow, wow, what a freaking finish from Cameron. Nice putt, Sam. There you go, Sam. Happened par in the last form. But I mean, coming down the stretch, if you told him go to 18, you'll be four under par the last six holes, he would have taken it and called to 18. That's a phenomenal finish by George there to put him in the running. Might not be in the last group anymore tomorrow though, but four under puts him right there. If he goes low, is in contention to win the championship. Two, uh, two shots, they both bailed out right, which is smart, coming onto the final hole because there is water all up the left in bunkers. Everyone went a little bit left on that tee shot. But the only spot you can't go on this whole off the tee shot is right, so it's a smart play just to go up to the left side. That's that, this is gonna be so sick. He's aiming over there. I think he was up against the lip in that bunker. This this shot that Sean's about to hit, gonna hit oh from across water is gonna be sick. He bailed that right as well. Wow, oh, it's hanging in there. Oh, got a great hit. Uh oh. She gone. Left of the flag. Oh my wow. gosh. That's so Dude. sick. Uh, That's a very good shot from there. He did not have much green from front to back from over there, so he's got a birdie look, about 20 feet. Wow, wow. David's got some hands on him. <laughs> 
That was, I mean, from that position, kind of up against the collar. Was he up against the collar? Did I see that wrong? He wasn't. Was he in the fairway or the rough? Getting spin on that out of this rough is honestly kind of impressive. Well done. Another good putt. It's not that fast. A little bit under red, but looks like decent speed. He's gonna mark it, but I think this is... Yep, he's gonna clean this up for his par. 66 in round one, assuming this goes in. Probably not the, the score he was hoping for, considering what he shot on the front, but still a pretty darn good round. Puts himself in a really good position for round two. Beautiful, Thanks beautiful sure. four from David. Very solid round. This might be, that might have been one of the grindiest rounds I've ever seen in my life. Getting 66 out of that is nothing short of unbelievable very impressive stuff from Trevor I can't wait to see what he does tomorrow because that was good if he hits it good tomorrow I mean he might shoot eight nine under if he hits it good tomorrow and putts and chips the same way he did today there yep. it is just down the left side should be in the fairway nice ball It's oh, left. Point and left. It's le point way and left. left. Oh my gosh. Just get lucky. Oops. Just miss a bunker. That's all I need. Oh. I'm saying it's safe. Yeah, he's fine. As long as it misses a bunker, he's like, okay. That right side is like the only scary part. Yes. Of this left, you honestly kind of have the world to go left. Definitely don't want to be there, but it's better than it's right. It's better than right. It looked like a right. No, oh, it's no, perfect. No, it's good. It looked like it lost right, so yeah. didn't it? it? He just, body language wise, looked like he lost it right. Oh, that's right in the middle. It's literally perfect. Nice. It's probably right of where he's aiming, though. Maybe. He does play a draw, so I think maybe that's why he did that. Likes it. Early pick yeah, up. A little butter cut down the left side. Sure. 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 That's, that's nice. right down the left side. Perfect. I mean, if you step on a six, you're gonna hit it right. No. There. I mean, you gotta you gotta cover it. Or you hit a draw fire and go hard. Flag. Whoa! Whoa. Settle. Settle. Oh. What a shot! Nice shot there from Hunter. Wow, dude, he landed that perfect. Like yeah. Right on the front edge. Yeah, that was coming out of the rough too. Yeah. <laughs> Looks very good. Very Blaine. good. Oh, going. So oh, my <laughs> God. That was a spinach, Blaine. Man, right. I thought I was going to stop quicker. Here's the deal there's two guys that finish at six under Cameron Sisk, David Kim, Sean Walsh at 66, five under, and uh, Trevor Ulstad at 66, five under as well. If Blaine gets a strong finish here, he's in a really good spot. Mm. Honestly, as well as, ooh, that's a good shot there. With yeah, the spin, too. Nice. Yeah. Dude, think about that. With, with Blaine's start mm -hmm. and how he's finishing up here, being you know pretty close to being, what is it, tied for second right now? If Blaine makes that, he's tied for the loop.
What kind of bounce? It's a terrible kick. Dang. Oh, that one is, is that fine? I think it's okay as long as it caught the bunker. Final hole. Let's see how the boys can finish here. Very nice from there. Well done. Good shot from Mark there. Just left of the green. Not an easy, not an easy bunker shot there. Come on, Linus. Big Bird. Oh. oh. Is that for Big Bird? That was for Big Bird. Come on, stay up, go, stay up, go. go. Trickle. I think that looked like it was on the hard too. God, that was right in. That was inside of the hole. That's alright, that gets him to T5. This is the die blind, this is a big putt. Big oh, putt. he might have done it. Big he might have done it. He did oh, it. Oh, he did it. Last dimple. No way. What a putt from Hunter. Oh my gosh, that ties Blaine for tied third. He's only one shot back. Wow. That was a sneaky five under. That was a sneaky You know, never you thought. just don't really see it, and then just all of a sudden you're signing a score for five under. This is for uh, him to get to two. Two under, yeah. That's <coughs> big enough. Mm, nice. Big putt, Mark. Good up and down on that bunker on the down slope. That is impressive. Nice birdie, way to slip it inside and see that right there. Keeps him in it. It's only four back going in the next day. Ooh, nice. nice. That was like perfect Good putt. time to beat. Mm -hmm. Good putt. Pretty solid playing from these boys. Well, final leaderboard is there. Currently, Cameron Sisk tied for first at 600 par with David Kim. Sean Walsh tied for third with Trevor Ulstad, Blaine Hale, and, and Hunter Reed. Um, there's a four under from George Markham. All right, y'all, we're joined by uh, George Markham here. I mean, I gotta ask you about your finish, brother. Four under the last six? Yeah. We were just seeing it, like just the normal average golfer's eye. We could tell you were right on the edge. Like, yeah. You just needed one thing to click. Yeah. What kind of did you find in the round to finish off so strong? I mean, didn't play a great front nine. I made that par where we were off in the bushes and the <laughs> cart paths mm -hmm. and the boxes over there on, the, on six. Um, I mean, I was driving it good all day so um figured those those chances were going to keep coming and uh that putt on whatever the first part three was mm -hmm. could have missed for the same price and it went in it's like okay like, <laughs> there is a hole there so let's sure. let's just try to get a get a close couple coming in and then just finally take advantage of a couple of them as far as i know you've played probably lots of tournaments in your lifetime um this one obviously being a little different there's cameras there's gopros there's a lot of different elements um do you think that that helped do you think it made it a little worse do you think it altered it at all or yeah definitely there was some organized chaos going on on the first tee <laughs> mm -hmm. um so i think that kind of every tournament you play a little different getting started but once you get out there once it hits the third or fourth hole i mean playing golf it's we've all played in enough big events that once you start rolling you're just kind of playing and trying to find a rhythm and once you find the rhythm then you kind of forget everything else is even going on so yeah once you get going we got got it rolling there yeah. Awesome. I got one final question I think everyone knows the answer to. Where are you going uh, to for dinner tonight? Looking burritos. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what exactly. <laughs> but burritos said. for dinner, burritos for breakfast. <laughs> Great yeah. plan, George. Great plan. Thank you, my See man. <laughs> wow. Called that one, Bubby. You called that one when you call going burritos, baby. To. All right, Josh, thank you for joining us, my man. Appreciate it. Obviously, we see you out there. You're a very high level golfer. Just couldn't seem to find the scoring out there today. What, what, what kind of, was it the putter, wedges? This is just part of being a professional golfer is mm -hmm. adjusting. We were just having a conversation over here that in the qualifying round, greens are a little softer, pins mm -hmm. are a little easier, much more flat putts, and something I've struggled with is my set of irons doesn't spend a lot. So this year, especially when I get on firm greens, which mm -hmm. today over in two days they've gotten really, really firm, mm -hmm. I just, I felt like I hit pretty good. I just couldn't get close to the hole. So I hit 20, 30 feet all day and make a ton of pars, but didn't have the opportunity to make a ton of birdies so honestly not that bummed. I played pretty good no, you, but just I didn't have the opportunity to make many birdies so yeah. it's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Hey, Gentlemen. How you doing brother? How you good, doing? Joe. You well, go first or you want me to go first? Yeah I'll start it off. Um, <laughs> we're joined with Sam Murphy. Obviously the putter was that's you know that's obviously a tough club to get going. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, just kind of talk us through what do you think that, that you did right? What do you think that you did wrong? Started kind of slow today, just kind of everybody, I wouldn't say got lazy, but you kind of just go through the motions and yeah, yeah, yeah. hit a couple good pots, don't go in, just try to battle through, but I mean, just couldn't get anything going. Uh, hit the ball well, I'd save them for tomorrow. That's what okay. I always say. I love it, Bobby. I just got a question about that shot on 18 up there, pretty much a baseball swing. Yeah. Is there any part of you thinking of trying to open up a 6-iron, 5-iron, trying to whack it up there, see yeah, if you can get that ball to fade? Yeah, you were debating clubs. Uh, I really wanted to, and yeah. if I would have known that the ball was going to get 20 yards <laughs> in the bush, I probably would have. Would have. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, that's the funny thing about golf, you always, you can always look back and be like, well, what if I did this, what if I did right. that? But it leaves, you know opportunities you learn from that and maybe next yes, time sir. you do. Yes, sir. Well, we know for day two. With your distance out there, I, I see you going low tomorrow, but yeah, I hope so you thank do. You. Thank, thank you all for being out here. Great plan. Thank you. Thank Seriously, you. yep. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. We're joined with Cameron. Um, wow, what a hot start. Yeah. I mean, three birdies in a row. Uh, me and Bubby were talking about, you know, all of you guys, if you start off with a birdie, all you guys really needed was one birdie to kind of get set the tone, set the pace for the day, mm -hmm. and you started with that uh, three times in a row. Um, I don't know, you just were making a lot of birdies. What was going through your mind? Man, I was just, uh, just trying to make golf as easy as possible on myself. Um, I hit a couple of good putts to start on two and three. Uh, obviously, you know, the whole one was pretty much a tap in, but, you know, having hidden two really good putts and also seeing them go in, uh, that was big for the rest of the day. And, uh, you know, I made a couple of sloppy swings on the back nine and, you know, part a couple of the par fives a day and part the drivable hole. But overall, I mean, can't really complain. It was a good yeah. start. Absolutely. Bobby. I mean, coming in, you were low on to the group of the 65, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would say he's talking about you had the putter rolling, but the club I noticed more than anything that you just put out a clinic with the, the driver. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be your favorite club in the bag almost. You didn't miss a ball. Yeah, I mean, the drive with par four was, like, I think the worst driver swing you had, and you were freaking pin high left, so. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's, uh, I mean, if you hit the fairways out here, it, it, you know, it takes a lot off your mind, and it lets you, you know, fire away at some flag sticks, and, you know, I was able to do that a lot of the day, and. Yeah, it worked out. Absolutely. One more question. Hold one. We forgot about this. You think that was in? That approach shot? I thought Dude, it was in. I thought in. it lipped out. I well, thought when it, it, it The ball crossed the shadow, and I, for a split second, <laughs> I thought it was gone, but then it came outside the shadow again. So. <laughs> that was a great way to start the day, brother. Great way to start the day. Yeah. Great yes, playing, man. We'll yeah. see you tomorrow. Appreciate, Appreciate you, you guys. Thank you, yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Fun playing, man. Thank you. How do you feel like you played out there? I mean, I played okay. I didn't get the most out of my round. Yeah. I hit, hit a lot of good shots. I didn't putt too well, but it's okay. No, I mean, I could definitely tell it's being. You know, a golfer myself, I could see, you know, I would have been a little frustrated at times too. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I feel like you handled it well. How do you handle that adversity whenever you don't? You know, that's always tough, man. Internally, I was a little, little frustrated for yeah. sure. But I, I always try to just focus on the next hole and the next yeah. shot. It's like yeah. you can only really do. For sure. But. For sure. No, it was fun to watch. Um, also, I mean, the whole group played well. Yeah. And that's, yeah. and, you know. I mean, Sean I, was bringing every freaking hole. Yeah, exactly, night. exactly. Are you I trying would, to feed off that? I mean, I was. Obviously, I wasn't at the front yeah. nine. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was. Um, no, I mean, all the guys are cool. We had, you know, when people are playing well, as you know, it yeah. kind of helps, I think, mm -hmm. a little bit subconsciously because you're seeing guys. It probably helped me on the back nine because I For knew sure. I needed to make mm -hmm. some birdies. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's very scorable. The greens are tricky to read, though. Yeah. Um, but you just, sure. you, got, you got to, I mean, just gotta get it. You gotta get on the green. Like it's, it's, a, it's yeah. just, you get a lot of, you get a lot of wedges in, man. So yeah. you gotta, you gotta get it close. The pins were tough today, though. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. tough pins, for but sure. I think, I think obviously driving it, driving it well helps. Yeah, yeah, getting, for sure. Getting those wedges close is kind of the key, I think. For sure, for sure. Well, we appreciate you wearing that uh, good, good hat today. I liked it. Yeah, I like the hat. <laughs> it was good. I like it. Fits, you, fits my head well. All right, Sean. Yeah. Well, you played. Uh, you had a. Around going there for a little while. Yeah, we did. We kind of we had a little bit of a heater going there yeah. for on the front nine. Putter was rolling, obviously on the front nine. Was hitting some good shots, giving myself some good looks. Mm -hmm. And I mean, honestly, I didn't feel like I hit it that differently on the back. I just kind of lost some touch on the speed of the greens a little yeah. bit. Like big momentum par on ten, but then kind of eleven had a, a horseshoe that was a little bit tough on like from like four feet. So. It probably had something to do with hammering the putt on 12, but uh, yeah, no, I mean, I gave myself a lot of chances and um, my ball striking has kind of just progressed and gotten better as the week's gone on. And yeah. I mean, I felt like even on the back nine, I was still hitting some decent golf shots. I just kind of wasn't getting anything out of it. So, yeah, For sure. Uh, well, me and Ben were talking a lot the whole time about how 
you know, not to say in a rude way, but like for you and your game, like there's nothing like super impressive. You are oh just, yeah, I you sneak very, up on like, you. That's, that's a yeah. compliment, it's <laughs> yeah. a compliment that way. Yeah. Of like, you know, you just plot your way around the golf course, put your ball in the right spot. Yeah. And that showed a lot today, but you were hitting a pin high a lot, it seemed like, and you were hitting some great shots. Yeah. Is that kind of the game plan for tomorrow, is just continuing? A little to... bit, yeah. I mean, I know that, uh, I mean, a lot of the guys out here, you know, they hit it further than me, and um, so I'm kind of already on the short end a little. But, um, I mean, I know that that's kind of the playing golf part, right? Yeah. It's like, I mean, everybody's good when they're hitting it good, but it's like, what are you when, you know, sometimes yeah. you don't have your best stuff? And that's what, you know, 70% of the time, that's kind of where you're going to be playing at. So I feel like over the last couple of years, I've gotten a lot better at that part. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, when you're hot, you're hot. Like, that front nine was great, but... You know the back nine. I mean, it, there there were some spots at which maybe it could have even gotten a little bit worse. But obviously, scrappy birdie on 17, and uh, you know, I mean, still kind of like 18. That could have gone sideways too, really yeah. quick. But uh, you know, just hanging in there. That's kind of the name of the game. And I know it's only I only got 18 holes left, but I know that. I mean, I, I don't know what the boys in the last group are shooting, but I know that if I go out and have a get off to a good start again and maybe you know have some things go a little bit more my way on the back that i'll be right in it so yeah for sure um also i want to know this personally on 18 yeah because i was by the green mm -hmm. or you're just i'm guessing you were just up against the yeah so so i was in there and and i think ben had seen it but like it was basically the only way that i could go the only shot that I had was to basically, because the ball was basically here, and I would say the lip was probably about that tall there. Mm -hmm. And so I was worried that I couldn't even get it out sideways. Yeah. And so I was looking, and I was like, you know what? Like, obviously I had to hit a really good shot just to get it over into that fairway, but I was like, I I felt like that was at least the path to par yeah. more so than sure. like disaster. Like if I, you know, try to go out sideways, I'm still gonna have 200 yards, even if I do hit a good shot out of there. Yeah. And you know, that brings in the play of obviously, if it hits the lip and ends up back in the bunker, then I'm, you know, yeah. hitting three from 210 out of a bunker that I yeah. wasn't able to get out of the first time. So sure. yeah, it was an interesting spot. I'm interested to look at the, uh, the camera on that and uh <laughs> hopefully i kept the language pretty clean but it definitely wasn't one of my better breaks so yeah, for sure <laughs> trevor freaking eulistad what's up dude Where, i'm surprised you still have your face i thought you were going to grind it off after yeah, that it was, round it was a it was a, grind during the round. it was a grind type of day for sure what was your mindset i mean i, I can't even there's not even really one shot to point to but um you i'm i'm not going to insult you i think by saying that today was not your best day of ball striking no, I uh, I was pretty lost at the swing. Yeah, for sure. Well, the, I would say when you know when you went down to uh, this was I thought was a big moment. You bogeyed eleven. Right. Yeah. You went down to a two iron. You still blew it like forty yards right. Yeah. <laughs> Where is your head on the next driver you have to hit after that? I mean, honestly, at that point, I was like, I might as well just start swinging a little harder at it because I'm not hitting it straight. So I'm trying to control it. So Fair. I just I hit a couple good drives on the back and then just kind of let it loose a little bit. But yeah. Yeah, we gotta we gotta straighten it out a little bit for tomorrow. Well, as I was saying, I was saying to, to Brad earlier, if if you putt and chip the way you did today and you hit it average tomorrow, I, I I like your chances. Yeah, yeah, I've been strong with the putter, so it's it's good to make some putts. Yeah, that yeah. was it's literally the opposite of how I played today, how I've been playing. I've been hitting it really good, and then yeah. it's just one of those days. But glad I grinded it out for it. It's safe long. to say you've you've settled in. I'm excited to see what you do tomorrow. Yeah. Was there was there any uh, was there any turning points you felt like when you know? Obviously, you were never really over par. You just right. you just kind of were yeah. steadily one, two, three, yeah. four, five under. But yeah. do you feel like there was a point where you started to settle in? It seemed like you were a little yeah. bit nervy to start. Did you feel like there was a shot or anything that allowed you to settle into the round a little bit more? Yeah, I think, honestly, 12. That was a good birdie, that putt to go in. That was a huge birdie. Yeah, and then yeah. I made a couple more putts after that. So I made three good putts in a row. Yeah. And then I thought I was... Uh, gonna keep it going, but I uh, kind of kind of coasted in from there. But uh, yeah, when you I gotta say, you, so you bogeyed 11. That was kind of a that was kind of a rough hole for you. And then you, you birdie 12, you birdie 13, you birdie 14. I thought you were gonna birdie 15. I'm surprised yeah. that putt didn't go. I know. Right. Yeah. Have a short memory and make long putts. That's your, your typically the yeah. recipe for success. Yeah, absolutely. Well, great job today, Trevor. Thanks, that was a lot of fun thanks to fun. watch. Yeah, thanks. Hopefully it's a little cleaner tomorrow. But yeah, yeah. Another yeah. five under. I like where you stand. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, good stuff, thanks, thanks. David Kim. Anybody ever call you DK? Yeah. Okay.
Always DK. DK. Yeah, yeah. Davey, Dave, Dougie, Dougie. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Dougie. DK, uh, Dougie. Yeah. yeah, isn't that your yeah, Instagram yeah. handle? I just got done interviewing Trevor. Trevor hit the ball all over the freaking planet right. and shot five under. Right. You did not do that. You hit it right. really solid, I thought, for the most part. Oh, you had a couple squirrely dirt. drives, a couple squirrely shots here and there. But for what the most part, doing? you kept it between the mayo and the mustard, made some butts, got some up and downs yeah. to fall. Uh, and obviously, a couple chip ins. That's That helps. Yeah, so just. Yeah, I feel like I hit it decently. Just, yeah. I, it wasn't like I hit a lot of really good shots. Just I felt like I kept my misses more minimal, yeah. which is always good. Did it feel like a pretty characteristic round for you today? Yeah, just making putts, scrambling, being part of the deal. And, okay. Yeah. So sure. I say, yeah, it's pretty close to what. Staying in control. It felt pretty typical, I would say, yeah. I don't, because I don't really. I'm not a Roy McIlroy. I don't ball strike the hell out of the golf course or anything. Dude, I I was saying this earlier. So I feel like people people get a look at you. They hear they see the sh they see the scores you shoot and they say this guy's probably got to be incredible with his wedges and putter, and that's true. Yeah. But you I'm, also hit the crap out of it, man. You were out yeah, driving the guys. I, I, I had a couple drives, and uh, being in the desert helps. You I were think. sending. Yeah. Yeah. That was impressive. It was a, it's like I'm usually used to kind of being behind like 15, 20 yards, especially playing with someone like Josh Anderson. Yeah, like, Josh removes it. Yeah, when I, I play with him a whole bunch in the past, and but I, I caught a couple good ones today, which is nice. What do you think is going to be your key to success tomorrow? Uh, I think just staying comfortable with the putter, scrambling and making those putts from mid range and stuff. Um, definitely, that would be a big part. All right. Well, through round one, six under, tied for the lead. Great round today. Can't Thank wait you, to see how you do tomorrow. Appreciate Keep it. it rolling, man. Yes, sir. Good we'll stuff, do. DK. Thank you. Explain your round today. I saw you had a little little five birdies in a row. How'd I did. I it was a kind of a weird 18 holes. I didn't play very good the first like yeah. seven. I didn't play very good the last like seven. You but, were kind of grinding those first few holes. Yeah, right? I was big time Sorry. grinding at the start. And then I honestly said in the car, I was like, I'm gonna try and make six birdies in a row right here. And then I made five. So you said that in the car? <laughs> yeah, I did. I said, oh, I, said it, I said it in the car. I was like, I'm gonna try and make six birdies in a row. And I made yeah three and then I, I almost made it on you, ten. You almost did. You had it right in the heart, just short. I didn't know it hit the pin. The guy up there said it, it was running and it hit the pin and bounced off. Really? Yeah. Jeez. So, would you have counted uh, that as a double eagle or would that just been I, I actually thought about that. I was like, it was on the technical scorecard, it was a par five, but it's yeah. actually a par four yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah. But um, yeah, I played good other than kind of my first six holes. My last, I just didn't really make anything. I wouldn't hit my irons that good, but oh. um, yeah, I'm still in it, which is kind of all I was looking for. It was yeah. kind of a pretty easy five under for not playing great. So hopefully tomorrow can I have to be a little bit more on my game and see what I can do. You're here with Hunter Reed, uh, post round, post first round. Uh, you fired a five under, correct? Yeah. Uh, with a very nice clutch eagle on yeah, the last really hole. Good way to finish. Um, felt like you were cruising out there the entire day and then like it was it was interesting because Quan and I were watching and then it was like you just snuck up on there and you yeah, you yeah. finished with five under. So yeah. how do you feel today and how do you feel going into round two? You're obviously one shot back. Um, what's yeah. the mentality like? Me and my uh, caddy Tyler were talking. I mean, I felt like I got everything I could out of the round. I felt like I hit my wedges pretty poor the whole day and gave myself a lot of lag putts. And, and then just at the end, finished with four straight threes. So that was nice. And um, just to get it in, and you know, hopefully that leads into tomorrow. But yeah. hit one good wedge shot on the back, uh, the back nine, and that kind of just, I guess, helped me finish strong. Right. Yeah, because like Quan and I were even talking about it. Like your first, what was it? Like six holes, you were leaving yourself some lag oh, putts and kind of like oh, struggling nice. to get something going. Yeah. And then you make that last putt, and I was like, Quan, he just shot five under yeah. par. And it felt pretty just nothing like too bad, but just in the spots where you're not going to score, and then kind of got it together again. So yesterday, or two days ago, I guess it would be the qualifier. You fired an eight under, right? Yeah. Which was the low for the day. Yeah. Um, what was the difference between a day like that and a day like today? And what are you going to need to do to get back to that, uh, say, eight under around that that score for, yeah. for the final round? It's definitely going to take that. But um, it was just hitting better wedges. I hit a few, few uh, really good wedges early in the eight under round, made an eagle, and then finished with a couple birdies, kind of like today. But just hit my wedges better and take away or take care of the par threes. Is pretty much all you got to do out here. All right, Linus, how'd you uh, how'd you feel out there today? You shot two under today. Uh, first round, obviously one more round that left. How'd you feel? Yeah. Honestly, uh, I mean, you watched me out there. I uh, I thought I had some good shots out there today. There yeah. was some good golf. Um, obviously, some shots I'd love to re-hit, but uh, we're just gonna have to go nuclear tomorrow. Mm. Anything? Uh, anything you're gonna be doing differently tomorrow to try to get yourself a little bit back into it? Try to get yourself a lower round? I don't think so. I've yeah. done this so much. Um, you know. 
maybe there's a little bit of experience kicking in, you know, at some point. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. And, uh, you know, certainly different with, um, you know, all the cameras and people out here and, um, and cards. Uh, so, you know, maybe I'm a little bit more used to it in the morning and yeah. uh, can go do I mean, some you've, damage. You've, you've played enough to, to know. I mean, the difference between a good round and a deep round, it's like just a couple putts drop here and there. You start feeling good with the putter and... You know, it's just you're not really doing a whole lot differently coming into the greens and stuff no. like that. It's just a couple more putts drop and hundred percent, hundred percent. So yeah, I uh, think we're gonna get some good sleep. Yep. I think we're gonna go slam some Chipotle first, but uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, so some good sleep and then go at it in the morning. There you go. That is gonna wrap up the round for me and Bubby. Amazing to watch these guys. Can't wait for tomorrow. Beautiful, beautiful thing that we get to do here with our own first ever championship, mm -hmm. uh, sponsored uh, by Golf Galaxy. Thank you guys so much. Um, this is just an amazing, amazing area to be in. No, honestly, an opportunity like this is such a blessing. And it's mm -hmm. all because of you guys. Like this is, even though I'm not playing, this is some of the most fun I've had, had on a golf course really in is. my life, bro. Like you said, watching this caliber of golf, getting to commentate it, 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 feel, it feels like we're making a live event. It like does. we're making a TV show, which honestly, Colin Max and everyone out there helping film and probably the b biggest production in YouTube golf history. And it's because of y'all's love and support. And it's also because of the man behind the camera mm -hmm. and Colin Ross. They, 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 Max and Colin are going to make this look beautiful. I can't wait for y'all to see it. At the same time, though, it, it is our very first time doing this. There is going yep. to be a learning curve. So Absolutely. you guys watching the video, if there's anything you think we could improve on or do differently that you guys would want to see, please let us know. And at the same time, show some love for Colin and Max and the team at 12 running around out here yep. filming and capturing all these moments on camera. That's really it. This is end of day one of the money rounds of the Good Good Championship presented by Golf Galaxy, and it's only up from here. It's a $100,000 purse this time, next time. Who bigger. knows what it's going to be. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully it, a bigger person, a, uh, maybe like a more rounds, like, you know, it could be like a mm -hmm. three round, four round kind of event. Yep. Um, obviously you said like it's a learning curve. We're just trying to figure out the ropes with, with doing our first ever event. So don't judge us too harshly on this <laughs> one. Um, I think we still put on a spectacular showing. Yep. And these golfers, they have just blown us away with they their have. scores. They're they phenomenal have. golfers, man. I, I, I really see in the next couple of years, we'll have a purse that has two commas in it. Mm. We're going to have these boys out here playing for some life changing money, which $50,000 is. But as we keep growing, we want to make the opportunity larger and larger for these guys yep. and make the opportunity to change lives more probable. These guys are out here grinding and it really is. I'm sure you've heard Luke talk about it on a podcast as well as Brad. The mini tour life, it gets expensive. Yeah, it's it, tough. It, we heard this one guy won a tournament in a field of 270 and he only won $15,000. You got to pay to travel, you got to pay for lodging. That's why it's a blessing with y'all's love and support. We can host a tournament with no yep. entry fee and give these guys the best opportunity to make some money and propel their careers. And they're coming out here and showing it. They yep. deserve it. So hopefully they enjoy it. Um, and hopefully again, like Bob said, we can put on another, another beautiful showing for you guys. But again, it's because you guys we get to do this sort of stuff. We love you. We thank you. Thank you for checking out GoodGoodGolf.com and watching all the videos. Um, we love you guys so much. And uh, thank much you guys. Love you all. Peace.